Hi guys. Can you guys hear me okay? Hi Kyatic, hi Mnemonic. Kyatic's probably at work. Mnemonic might be at work, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys can hear us okay. I see the, the audio saying that you do, but we'll see. If I have to increase the gain on the microphone, I can. Um, anyway, mom is have here. To talk that loud. I shouldn't have to talk that loud. I talk that loud anyways. Yeah. Just because that's right what next I, to you? I know. No. I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to increase the gain in just a second. Hopefully everybody can hear us. But anywho, mom is here. She's already been in the thick of it. She's already made the fudge. I guess I should do this. Well, I can see you. I can see you. It doesn't matter. Um, she's already made the fudge. She's already wor she's working right now on the seven layer cookie bars. So um, I'm gonna angle it down. She can explain to you what she's already done, and then we'll go from there. I'm doing some other things, and we have a bird screaming in the background. <laughs> cookie bars. They're also known as seven layer cookies, but magic cookie bars is much more fun to say. And I'm doing two at a time. So this is two pans of uh, ground cracker, cr uh, graham cracker crumbs ground up in my food processor. You can buy them pre uh, in, in a box, graham cracker crumbs in a box. You can use those, but I prefer to do it myself. And there's a half a stick of butter with a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs. And so I did two batches. And then what you do is you spread it out and then you use the, I like to use the bottom of a cup and just press it. So it gives you a nice um, pressed crust. You can use your hands too, but I, I don't like to do that. Spoons, spatulas. It, you get nice even pressure and it gets really nice and flat when you use the bottom of a cup. All right, so next we take Eagle Brand. Now this is not condensed, uh, not evaporated milk. This is condensed, sweetened condensed milk. Okay, so that's what you use. We're gonna use one whole can for each recipe. And I need to get my spatula. Ooh. Do you want the little one with your fork in right there? No. You put it in the dishwasher? No, I washed it. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it evenly all over. Yeah. At least the pot is warm. Each of these, thank you. And while mom is doing that, I'm gonna start the chocolate for chocolate covered pretzels. Florida, 386. Just, just don't get it. Hello? What does she do? She answers it anyway. Well, it's because it's cold. Probably. Don't know. So. Anybody in Florida, I know their number, so. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's junk. Alright, All right, then I just take a spatula and I kind of push it around. You want to do this gently so you don't lift up your crust. Because it's just sitting there. It's not, um, Stuck not cooked that. hard or anything. So you just want this to be spread around. You get into all the corners, up along the edges, because what this is going to, it's going to hold all of your goody ingredients that we're about to put on here. So you want to make sure it covers everything. There's one. Julia Child would say, if you have any goose, you just fix it. Nobody will know the difference. <laughs> did you know the lady who did Julia and Julia back there? The girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. And, uh, I just triggered my memory when you said uh, Julia Child. So. I, can't, I can't remember her name now. Um, 
Julie something. Did you hear about Twitch? Yeah, I did. I saw your post and I was like, that was awful. That's super sad. It was suicide. What? It was suicide. Oh my gosh. She was had three little kids. Married Good grief. Man. Three little kids. And you yeah. know, he was a DJ on the Ellen show. I mean he had his whole he had a great career. Oh yeah. You know. You never know what's well, going on in somebody's There's Kayata. Kayata, can you hear us okay? Um how's the audio sound? I know you're at work, but Running around, yeah, I got you. <laughs> it's that last minute rush before the holidays. Okay. So now that that's all spread around. Now we're gonna start adding all the good yummies that go on top. start with the stuff that is in the Ziplocs. Okay, we're gonna do, so this calls for two cups of, um, or 14 ounces, or excuse me, 12 ounces of cinnamon sweet chocolate chips. So we're gonna spread those evenly all over. Sounds good, and I I'm, have the stream on myself, okay cool. I'm going to go slightly less than two cups here because I'm going to mix it up a little. I put a little bit of white chocolate chips to just, um... You're done with the stove top, right? That was just for the part? Uh... Or do you need... No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Top. I'm good. Oh. Yeah. So just a couple of handfuls to add some pretty white in there. I'm going to put almost two cups in the next one. Where'd you put the fudge? The what? The fudge. It's sitting on the table over there. Oh, it showed up. Okay. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I have these pans lined with parchment paper. It makes it a whole lot easier um, to take out and to clean. We have Three types of fudge. There's chocolate fudge. There's peanut butter fudge. There's white and then there's white chocolate macadamia nut. There's the white chocolate macadamia right there. Orange. You want to munch on some, Sarah? There's just a few in that bag. <laughs> okay, next, after the chocolate chips, is coconut. Um, a cup and a third of flaked coconut on each of these. a really light coating of coconut. You're not trying to make a layer. It's more like a topping. Oh, oh, oh. Be quiet, baby. Like that. Unless the holiday gifts were picked up so far at the moment, I am done. Yay! That melting chocolate? Yeah. Um, you might want to get the one I just put in the dishwasher and wash it. The green ones. I was actually thinking. Is it, like, do you have any one use any one for? Uh, in the pantry. Because once we're done with this, we're and it's long and we can get this uh -huh. yeah, in the pantry. Uh -huh. On the bottom shelf. Gotcha. 
Okay. And then we're going to add chopped nuts. So I have some chopped pecans over here. And it cost her a cup for each recipe. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to take these. Um, so, cause we can, once we're done with them, we don't have to worry about fighting to clean them. Um, melt the melting chocolate for the chocolate covered pretzels. And I'm doing this back here on the stove uh, behind mom. So she's got main stage right now. One on each recipe. Just making sure I didn't miss any parts. You want every bite to have a little of everything. Okay, then what I like to do is take my hands and just press this. So I'm, I'm trying to press it as flat as I can. Just gently pressing it all together. So this does two things. One is it just kind of makes your bar nice and even. It also makes sure there's no air bubbles stuck in here. Um, cause funkiness with your bars. Especially with that um, condensed, sweet and condensed milk, right? Well, just because you layered a bunch of stuff, like the coconut could have air bubbles, and then it could just cause things to not mesh well together. So this just assures that that happened. Okay. These will now go into the oven, a 350 oven, and they'll bake for 25 minutes or until they're, or until they're lightly browned. And then we set them out to cool. So, oven is preheated. Yep, she's had the oven preheated. You can see it right behind her there. Um, what I will do, guys, she is using this recipe book she's probably had for the better part of 20 years. Um, but it is an Eagle brand, which is uh, Borden. Um, which I used to work for. Yeah, fun fact, Mom used to work at Borden a long, long time ago when I was still a kid. Um, but it is this magic cookie bar recipe right here um what you i'll do you can also find it online it's everywhere it's eagle brand recipe for magic cookie bars though that i prefer and what i'll do guys is i'll take a picture of this um and share it in the discord um and you guys can very easily join the discord or shoot me a dm you can um, move your camera up now if you, want you can see right there that's the fudge recipe she used today um, also an eagle brand recipe Adjust the camera up. Uh oh. What just happened? I don't know. I just got a bunch of notifications. Somebody did something. Who did what? I was at the sink. You can't blame me. Oh, somebody hit shield mode. Scootles. Cleared the chat. <laughs> Scoots. Alright, we gotta turn that off. That was an accident. Hi, hun. There's my favorite person. Let me turn it this way just a little bit. Scoots. Get, get, get that palm tree. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Boop, boop. It's annoying in the background. Dang. <laughs> All right. That should have fixed that. There was the accidental shield mode. You want to do some of your chocolate melting for a bit? Yeah, and I can I'll do that. And get out of the way. Um, I can do that right there. I can move the trays over and do it right there while you start the... I um, can start the German uh, gingerbread cookies. Scoots actually accidentally pressed the shield mode button, but that's okay. Boggers. Hi, hon. Mom, Scootles is my friend who lives in Texas. Scootles or Skittles? Scootles. Scootles. Used to be Skittles, but now it's Scootles with a triple O. Okay. So triple call her Scoots. It's okay. Call her Scoots for short, right? Yeah. Um, she, uh, she and her longtime boyfriend just bought the house I told you about. So, anyway, mom, mom's washing her hands really quick. I'm going to get started in a second on chocolate covered pretzels. How you doing, hon? Does anybody have any questions?
question so far? I think mnemonics at work. Kayatic's been working, but I'm not sure. And Scoots just popped in. So we are slowly but surely getting there. I am in the process of melting chocolate. Harley has a lot of training. That's right, I didn't tell you. She just adopted a one year old GSD, German Shepherd puppy, and her name is Harley. Hi. So she's been spending a lot of her time training Ooh, and working yeah, they on need her. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. They're, they're great dogs if they're trained really well because they need a lot of activity. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to try to get the birds Well, Mom, you can pull him out. I'm sure they would love to see him. They love him. They've seen pictures of him if you want to bring him out for a few minutes. So Mom is going to go get the big blue bird. And uh, my autofocus is off. Let me fix that here. Oh, come on. Going to be that kind of way today. Let me turn that off. Uh, there we go. All right, we're turning the autofocus off. Wow, 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 wow. Everything's breaking. There we go. All right, Scully. Fair warning, buddy. There's some things out here that might be... Oh, goodness. Here comes the big bird. Hi, buddy. Hi, Scully. Can you say hi? Can you say, say hello? hello? Say hello. Do you see yourself? You say hello. Oh, pretty bird. Oh, there you oh, go. Pretty bird. Yes, he's a pretty bird. Say, we're cooking, buddy. Yeah, I was trying to say hi, but I got caught in mom's shirt. Say hello. Yeah. Say hello. Can you wave? Or are say you going to talk? No, I'm going to come up here and because I don't feel safe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's a bunch of weird yeah. things. He's not okay. used to my setup. Okay, this is so. all funky stuff. Funky stuff hi, right buddy. here. Yeah, all funky stuff. So, can you wave hello? Hello. You want to see what's going on? What is it? What is it? Love how much the bird and your mom match. Yeah, mom is all about. Yes. Well, yes. My hands being anywhere it's near all about mom the bird. make him upset. So I'm like trying not to. He's all about the macaw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Hello. He's all about the macaw. He said hello. <laughs> you almost did a second ago, buddy. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Hello. Can you say hello? Good hello. Boy. Good boy. See yes, you waved. Good boy. <laughs> Uh huh. Can I take it? Behind. Well, I don't know what you're going to I know. Walnut? Oh. Yeah, you want a walnut? You want a cookie? So, actually, walnuts are great. They have a lot of vitamin A. And um, he gets three walnuts in the shell every day because it gives them that extra vitamin A that blue I'm not going to move that until he's out of the way. I don't want to scare him. So. Well, R&R &R break for the birdo. Uh, uh, oh. uh, really, dude? <laughs> you dropped it. Got it inside my glasses. <laughs> you think it's funny, huh? You think it's funny? The dogs are going to love looking up all your crumbs. There we go. Uh, that should look a little bit better. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Is it yummy, yummy? She's got, she's got two. We used to have Jesse, Jamie, Carly, Skittles, Twinkie, Tango, Tango, Lizzie, Lizzie, T-Bird. Did we have Newman when they were all around? Yes. Uh, Newman. So we almost had 10 birds at one time. But I didn't have him at that time. Skittles, yeah. So Skittles was the bird that started it all. She absolutely, she was a little yellow lovebird, little peach face lovebird that was yellow. Um, with, you know, the peach face and... My daughter, my other daughter, came to me with a, a file, pretty much a business case that you take to a bank, and said, I want a bird and read this before you say no. So she had done all the research on toxic plants, types of cages, proper care, proper food, everything. And she'd yeah. investigated breeders, and she had picked one about an hour from here. And um, how could I say no to that? And she <laughs> saved up half the money. Mm-hmm. So I got the car, went down there, got Skittles. We named her on the way back. I actually came up with the name. And Skittles bonded to me. 
instead of to my daughter, which pissed her off royally, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. So she had to have another bird. Mm -hmm. So that's Isn't how it kind of started. Because then we got Twinkie, who was a beautiful cockatiel. She was a... Uh, anyway, you going to give me another one? I'm still working on the one that's in my jaw, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good, or do you want some more? Of course I want more. Because cookies. Because yeah. bottomless pit. Uh-huh. Mom says, so proud of myself how far I come with Parley in just three days. I believe it. You are very persistent with her. He is, Scully is what, almost 20 now? We got him when he was 15. Scully will be 20 this year. Yeah, so he's 20 years old. Um, and I've had him actually for eight years now. So he was like, actually he it will be 21 this year. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. He, 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 okay. uh, okay. great. That's awesome news. Yeah. But yeah, he um we rescued him. Um, he knows quite a few foul words. Um, yes, his vocabulary mm -hmm. needs work, and I've tried. Yes. I've been trying really hard uh -huh. to break him of that, but mm -hmm. sometimes if he hears loud voices and stuff, he'll yell, "Shut the f up!" <laughs> He's trying to give it to you. Yes, he's trying to give you some cookies. He's trying to share with you. Oh, but don't you pinch me! Ow. Don't you pinch me. He, he's a goofball. He's I know. Playing. He's trying to give. He wants to give it to me. Um, 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 um. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yes, thank you, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Scully, Scully bonded to mom pretty quickly. Um, the other I'm bird you hear screaming up. in there is Newman, um, and he'll get his turn in a little bit. But he's very much like he's bonded to mom. But when I'm around, he's all about me. So, but yeah, most of our birds are rescues, um, or were rescues at one point. Uh, Newman was the only one, or one of the only ones we got from a breeder hand fed. So, you want to come down? Well, I was, what I was going to try to let him see in the camera is when he goes pink. Can, can you see? I can zoom in. So, uh, let, me, let me do this but one I don't here. know if he's going to do it right now. I don't but do he, there's a, there's something called the macaw blush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go really back happy. Oh, these white spots on his face. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna we'll go pink. Uh, uh, what? 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 You what are you doing? You? What are you doing? You see you? Oh, he's a pretty bird. Yes, are you a pretty bird? Don't you pick up my pick thing back there, my hair clip. I'm also over here. So. I know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, you might notice that here and there when he's out here. When he gets really happy, his eyes will pin really small. And his face will turn pink. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay? See, his eyes just pin there. Are you a good boy? Oh. Yeah. Get your belly. Oh. oh. What was that? That was the pan. What was what? that? Oh. <laughs> what was it? Was that the pan <gasps> in the oven? Yeah. That's a great. Yeah. It's a great song. All right. Ah! Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to my cage now. Thank you. Bye-bye, Scully. That's the end of the Scully show. All right, there we go. Intermission for Scully. All right, I'm going to zoom back out here. All right. Okay. I'm super proud of you, Scoots. Um, definitely working on, on training, crate training especially with GSDs. Um, but I'm excited for you. I'm, I'm, I, I know you're going to do fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, – I'm getting pretzels together. Um, I've already got the chocolate melted. You saw me here continuing to like kind of stir it. Um, so I can start dipping these pretzels, making chocolate. And then I'll, what I'll do is I've got the white chocolate here. Um, I'm going to take this, melt it into another container. And then we'll decorate the chocolate covered ones. And then we'll do white ones and decorate with chocolate as well. So we don't have a whole lot. Uh, but we wanted to tackle this because it, frankly, it takes up the most space, uh, but it's also the most like painful for me on the back. So, well, congratulations to your brother on his graduation. That's fantastic. I'm gonna fix the camera really quick. Go. 
that out of the way for now. Yeah, that's fantastic. He's graduating college, right? Um, with the what? What did he? What did he major in? Uh, did you leave it over on the table? That's where you last had it. Software engineering. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, computer science. My mom is in um, IT. She works as a. Uh, yeah, she's a senior agile program lead uh, for Capital One. So this is why I chose this container. It makes it so much easier to just come in here and just get it all nice and covered in chocolate. And then I can drizzle out all the excess. That's her brother. That's Scoodle's brother. Yeah, so he'll be able to write in one page. Because right now, he's focused in that line of work, and he's basically right there on campus. Okay. Very high demand. Yeah, super high demand job. Her dad is a civil engineer, and her um, boyfriend is a electrical engineer. So. Wow. Super, super smart. Smart people. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she herself is just as smart. I Don't be fooled. I know. I, as soon as I saw you go over there, I'm like, she's going to take a break. That's fine. It gives me the countertop for a minute. Yep. And so, the oven is busy anyway. So. See, things like these, weren't. it's not going to let us stop it. We'll either eat those or dunk, dunk it in chocolate and put it on there. <laughs> but we'll just roll with the punches. The beauty of these is we don't care if they break. They're still going to be pretty and delicious anyways. So... We always chose Hanover, Snyder of Hanover um, pretzels or something about them. Gold. Or what? Rolled gold. Rolled gold. So we always choose these or the rolled gold kind in the big tub um, that are, they're great. They have just, see there I go, it just broke again. I don't know what it is, but the bottom of these are just wanting to break. You might need to pop in your chocolate. Oh. Yeah, it's I guess it could also be the way I'm grabbing it because I'm just grabbing the very tip end of it. I need to get my fingers up on it. So. Do you like crushed peppermints? I personally don't. Um, but my my dad, my my mom's husband, not my dad, dad, but he loves them. Um, roll them in crushed peppermint, which I think I've seen done. I've seen it done. We do white chocolate. We drizzle white chocolate over the top. Um, There's no reason why we couldn't, if I had peppermint, that we could... Don't you... Where'd your big old jar of peppermint go? Well, I don't have any peppermint candy. I thought you had a giant jar of peppermint at one point. Oh, that was a lot. There you go. Those put, aren't the kind that crush up, though, are they? I don't think it matters. I think all you got to do is put them in a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin and ding, 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 and done. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Let's let's go find out. Two seconds intermission break. We're gonna go find some. Uh, peppermint. We're gonna go find some peppermint. Idea, real quick. Whoever made that idea. The suits. We have peppermints. <laughs> they feel hard to me, and I'm squeezing pretty hard. So let's put a few in a Ziploc bag. It does say soft peppermint candy, but I don't think it would matter. I think if we can still get them to crumble up to some degree, it would. You can get them to crumble. Or you could melt some. Yeah, you could put them in a Mom's got a blender. Uh, I do. It's down by where the instant pot was. But we're just we're gonna we're gonna experiment with just a few small ones um, before we go on a big, big one. So give me just a second. Where did you had? Mm, where are these Ziploc bags? Because that's the one thing I Pantry don't remember. On the wall on the left. Right back. Hold on. I'm a ninja. <laughs> a lion has joined the chat. Hey, 
Lion, what's up, my dude? Rolling pin destruction. Yeah, we're not going to use a hammer on mom's nice marble countertop. Um, but we will, huh? Whatever. Yeah, these aren't as hard, or these aren't like the normal ones, but I think they'll still crumble the same. Fire for effect. No hammer demo. <laughs> Hey, look, this is, this is, this is Loki's, uh, domain, okay? Do you hear me? Of course there are. But I'm a stubborn pain in the butt. <laughs> That's why I said I thought I'd get a giggle. Oh, you'd 100% get a giggle. So... Because I always like, it's funny, like, when I was playing in Valhalla, right, I was, you know, we're, we're basically fighting against, we're fighting as Odin, and that be that's what I was doing. Alright, where's the rolling pin? I don't know, but you just use the knife in life. Back in life, or do you have one of the tenderizers? No. no. Alright, mom's, mom's taking over the show for a second. definitely hard so I like scoot type <laughs> mom's getting the blender out <laughs> all right well while she's doing that I'm gonna add some more chocolate to this and melt it so this is the chocolate we use just the generic candy coating chocolate oh yeah I know my dad absolutely loves peppermint it's totally a step up and I'm sure everybody would love it so I personally don't like peppermint, but everybody else does. I'll leave a couple of ones. It's gonna look pretty though. It's gonna it's, look yeah, really it's good. totally Christmas. Um, this stuff they come in like little cubes. You can literally just break it, or even red. Yeah. So we do, mom, put them on the candy wreaths instead of the cinnamon thingies because they'll look like little ornaments. <laughs> What did you say? I said, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, she said that's gonna work. You didn't hear her because she, she pressed the pause button. She, you wanna bring it over here and show her? So, I mean, it's. Um, it's right here. Let me get a plate for it. Um, why don't, no, 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 don't use a plate. Paper plate's there. Okay. I was like, don't dirty a plate for that one. So you can see it polarized. That's perfect. Into a pretty. Like powder with a few of the little bigger chunks, like I'd probably reuse those. Yeah. But even a little powder. The, the powder is really pretty in pink though. You know, it, it'll it'll give it that, that flavor and that texture. So. You don't need a lot of this because you're only going to do a few. Mm -hmm. Not everybody likes peppermint. No, but like think about, think about if I do this tray with some white chocolate and then we put some peppermint on it. And then we do another tray of chocolate that's just plain and white, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, there you go. I think that'll be enough, honestly. I mean, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Dad's going to be so happy. He's going to be thrilled. And we'll have to like, leave those here. <laughs> Some of them. Not all of them. We'll definitely want to give those out. He really likes it. We can always use another bag. Of course. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dad's going to be super stoked. Um, I need a, do you have a baby's pack right here? Uh, I don't need something, uh, right here, I got it. That's all I need, right here. Here's one that's not super big. I got one. Really need. Oh, here's perfect. This is perfect. I don't need nothing super big, but I didn't want to use a spoon. So have we shown off this great little gadget yet? Oh, no. So, so if you want an awesome gift to give your mom or your aunt or your sister or anybody. Or yourself. Or yourself. Get some of these. If you're a cook. I have these on everything now. On my mixer. On my instant pot. On my 
uh, food processor, on my blender, on my crock pots. It's a cord keeper. And you just wrap your cord around and you stick it right there. It's got a, I don't know if you can see. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's got a crevice right there. You just pop your cord. Pop your cord. Cord, <laughs> not cork. Right pop there. Pop your cork. And look how nice and organized that is. You don't have to fight cords in your cabinet anymore. Pop it. It is the bomb. <laughs> Highly recommend. All right, we're just gonna, even though it's a chocolate smoke, we're gonna give it another 30 seconds real quick just to make it not as thick and like heavy for just a second. And then we'll continue. So. I'm gonna get all the ingredients over here. All right. I'm gonna shift down just a little for you. Uh, that should be enough. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I'm just, uh, I know. I haven't made these in a year, so I have to read the recipe. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? I can, my body alarm went off, like it always says, <laughs> when food is almost done. So, gonna take a peek. It needs a little bit more time. Not much. It's Just now, a little bit, but not enough. Done. You love your mom? Well, I'm glad you love my mom because I love my mom. My mom is everybody's mom. So, she's a she's an amazing person. I love her to death. I, I would not like trade my mom at all. So. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. Hey, you know what? I'm still your favorite. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Shh. Okay. So what mom is about to get started is gingerbread cookies. Ginger cookies, not gingerbread cookies, but ginger cookies. They're big, soft ginger cookies is the recipe name, but they're gingerbread cookies. And this is from a Betty Crocker cookbook from years ago. And it's the best gingerbread cookie recipe to date that I've found. Because if you like your gingerbread soft, um, that's what these are and they're, the flavor is just divine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cream our butter and sugar together which is kind of standard for any cookie. So this calls for two sticks of butter and a cup of sugar. Let's see. There we go. That works. No, the and the only problem with these canisters that I love is that. my one cup won't fit in the mouth of it. <laughs> I just need to slow down. You gotta I just need to be slow gentle. Down. I just need to slow down. Gentle dog. Sorry, right. I'll eat it anyways. Let's see, we need one egg for this. There is your timer. Mm -hmm. Mom's got a neat little tool. You can barely see it right here. It's a magnetic kitchen timer that you literally just turn. You can see the numbers it's just digital. barely. It's digital. And then it starts and it'll count down and it'll beep. So, it's a really neat little kitchen gadget. Mom is the one for finding the best kitchen Speak gadgets. To the left, that'll bring you. Okay, so these come out and they'll they'll be browned around the edges. They will not be brown all uh once all the you way bring that up, we'll bring it over to show. And you're gonna wanna come like right where I'm standing. Right here. So seven layer cookie bars, angle it towards, there you go. You can see they're, they're just barely starting to brown around the edge. Yeah, and this and is still ooey gooey. So if you tip this, like you'll see it start to shift. So these need to cool, leave them alone, let them cool. And then you can cut them into bars. Yup. I, I, I have the, I get chocolate all over my hands every time. Never fails. Alright, you can skip that one. Okay, so since you're right there, hit the back arrow. 
All right, and then press the top top left where it says skip. This one. Yeah. You mean the top right? Top right. My bad. I'm okay. Okay. But anyway. You're not dyslexic, so you have. Not, I'm you totally don't have that dyslexic. Excuse. Shush. You don't have that excuse. Yes, I do. Leave me alone. Better than me saying I'm ADHD, okay? Because I'm not. Yeah, you're not. I know. I just have the ten attention span of a goldfish. Unless it's something I like. See, I can't hear that music. That's the funny thing. You can hear it plain as day, but I can't hear it really darn. It's background. I can't hear it really well. What was that? Um, I think it knocked something over on my front porch. The wind. Oh, yeah, it the is wind a little windy today. All right. Noise. You're good. It's not enough. Like, it's still picking that up, but I think they can still hear us. So, trick whenever you're doing cookies or anything that says to cream your butter and sugar, don't get in a hurry. No. Give it lots of time. Because this is a critical stage of a cookie. It needs to be like light and fluffy. Softened when it's done. butter is a good key too. You have to use softened butter. Like let that butter sit out overnight in a room temperature room, or, or at even, least all morning. You know, a, a full day. Is what I do. Like, you know, the longer you can let it sit and be soft, the better off it's going to be. The quicker your process is going to be. Otherwise, you have to wait for it to beat through all that cold. You know, cold butter is great for biscuits, but it's not great for baking. Any kind of like pie crust or anything, you want your dough really cold and you want to use frozen butter or so really, really cold butter. We're going to let this, I'm going to sit this to the side and I'm going to start another batch of chocolate ones and then I'll make some white. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. That was a piece of walnut. No, it's cream and sugar. Oh, it's fine. It's not going to kill it. That tastes it. Um, we'll let it sit. Um, we'll make another batch of the chocolate and then we'll make some white and then we'll put some on the peppermint. So if we have to make more, we can. I'm not going to make a whole bunch. So, how many gift baskets are you? Might as well be 12 the gift baskets at the end of the I day. I think I'm at 11. Because you gotta also leave some for the house. I'm forgetting somebody. Snapchat must be Ambi. Ambi must be awake. So I don't know if you can see this, but it's really light and fluffy. There's, you don't even see the sugar anymore. It's dis it's dissolved into the butter, really, and it's it's definitely fluffy. It almost looks like a heavy whipped cream. But I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Swift, what's up, my dude? Are you home? Did We'd you show him the fudge? I showed Was fudge earlier, but I'll show fudge again. So, Swift um, is my buddy who lives down in Tennessee who's a truck driver. So, but he and I play on the weekends more often. Howdy, howdy. 
Okay, now we're gonna beat in the egg. Beat them eggs. We're gonna beat right. in the egg. Right, I'll do that once you're done. I'm gonna. You're in Oklahoma. Oh, because you had a late start to the week too. Okay. Stir in the water and the molasses. All right, so this one's. <clears throat> Fudge has been made. Tablespoon of water. what makes them good right here. Mm-hmm. The molasses. You almost need two microwaves because you're standing in front of one. <laughs> Sorry. Do you need to get in here? Yes, I do. When okay. you get a moment. Well, here, put down the sink for me. And then... Want hot water it? Yeah, if you want to. Do you want me to put this in? Yeah, for like a minute. 45 seconds. That works. Okay. Just so you can get that next brick going. Okay, I'm gonna scrape the sides. Never fails. I get chocolate all over my hands. Is this it's right. Yes, it's his Christmas waltz. I couldn't like figure out if it was Frank or Dean because I couldn't hear it's it very well. Yep. Good old Frank Sinatra. As long as there's no Beyonce playing, I'm kosher. I don't know, straight over the Christmas music. They, they play it to death. Mariah Carey. <laughs> you played a goat scream. Thank you for the biddies. 50 biddies. I appreciate it. Okay. Now we have to do dry ingredients. hurting my neck. Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> well, it's just coming straight from physical therapy. That's the one thing I forgot that I was doing on the 16th because I had physical therapy in the morning, right? Because I had had it scheduled like a month ago when we, you know, before we even made this, you know, a, a thing. Right. And I completely forgot about it until this week. And I'm like, that's why I was like, well, shoot. You know, one of the reasons why I didn't stay here last night. <clears throat> Now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients together. Uh, do you need to fill your container up? I do, but I. It's a, it, this is a brand new bag, so I don't want to mix. I want to empty, empty that, empty that, dish and wash it, in. and then I want to put this in. Gotcha. Huh, Mr. Grinch. We're doing 
two and a quarter cups of flour. I think I'm getting in the groove. I always break a few in the start. Mm -hmm. I'm get in the groove. And once I get in the groove, we're kosher. Okay. <clears throat> She's doing a baking soda. And I just got some fresh. I think my baking soda have been in the pantry for a year or two. Probably. Did you look at the expiration date? No, I just got rid of it. <laughs> you need to get yourself a little container like all your other glass ones and put it in there. And you ain't I have. Worry about it. I have. For your I baking soda? I just haven't done it. I, I have a bunch of clean ones in there. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, back break. Um, okay, now we get into the spices. So this takes cinnamon ground cinnamon, three quarters of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Nobody can ever say that you do any like weird stuff because it's like, hey, I record this live on Twitch. If you really want to know my process, go watch. <laughs> you know? They can never be like, you poisoned me. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. We want a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. I know. Random thought. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. Yeah. I'm a weirdo. Who are you, who are you thinking of poisoning is what I want to know. <laughs> I think of a person. Have you right seen that? Have you seen The Greatest Showman yet? Huh. Oh my god, mom. Hugh Jackman in a musical. Watched it for the first time last night. Fucking amazing. You need to watch it. I know dad hates musicals, but make him suffer. You know? Yeah, well, he doesn't have to watch it. No, he plays on his phone. Is it on Netflix or what? Uh, I'd have to ask Bree, but I believe it's on Disney Plus. But it's buy worthy. You should just buy it. Oh no, I don't buy anything anymore. I don't even have a DVR. Mom, you... I don't have a Blu-ray or a DVD player. That's why it's in my wish list because I don't even have one. I know, but you can buy it on Amazon Prime, I think. I know it's on my wish list. Okay. Give me one. I know what you're, you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I added cinnamon, cloves, salt, baking soda. Those are our dry ingredients. And I'm going to gradually stir this together. Can I second get in here for a second? Because yeah. I'm full on this tray right now anyways. Yeah, I, I was just noticing that it slid over. So. I'm just going to mix these together a little bit. It's always good to mix your dry ingredients before you add to. That way that it's a, it's a good consistency and then they're not like pre-mixing one ingredient before the other. Well, and a lot of people say to sift. I... Don't, There's I no don't, point. I just don't, never have. I just make sure that when I'm scooping my flour that it's aerated, that it hasn't been packed down because you can get too much that way. Um, and then I just make sure this mixture is nice and airy. Always add your dry to wet, never add your wet to dry. You're gonna do this slowly until Flour is incorporated, the mixture is incorporated a little bit and add a little bit more. Otherwise, you're going to have a cloud that will poof ahead of you in your face. I really one of these pans is falling because I can just go back and forth. That's fine, whatever works for you. Yeah. We should have brought in one of your six foot tables to just set some of this stuff on so it could go that way so we're not fighting it, you know? Well, we're not fighting it here, right? I got, I've got so much stuff on that table over there. I know, that's why I say you should have brought it on. Table table table. I put a tree on it and candles and all kinds of stuff. Okay. I'll finish out this bag with 
chocolate, and then on the next bag I'll do white chocolate. So it's one bag each. Can you sit back on the person? You got a whole bunch on your hand. Bree got mad. She says, why do y'all got to do that while I'm at work? Um, what time would you prefer? Well, she doesn't get off work until 2. So. Okay, we'll uh, probably still be at it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to message her right now and be like, we're probably still going to be at it. Is this Bree Bree? Yeah, Bree in North Carolina. Adorable Bree. Okay, different Bree. I don't know what Bree you're talking about. I thought about. you were talking about Bree Yeager that was friends with Dan. I'm friends with her on Facebook. I don't know her. Sorry. Different Bree. It's always easier to clean as you go than it is to clean everything afterwards. Food for thought. Guys, all I'm doing, one of the easiest things to do when it comes to these chocolate covered pretzels, this is like one of the easiest, hey Nico, um, one of the easiest things to do is to just, you know, you don't have to melt all your chocolate at once. The beauty of this baking chocolate, you don't need a container. It does come with a container. You can toss this in a microwave, totally microwave safe, and use the container. I went with this container because we're, we're going to throw them away anyways. And um, it helps with dipping the chocolate. And then that way it gets full coverage and it's not really messy. Um, you know, you can nuke these in the microwave for like a minute at a time. You don't want to do more than a minute because you'll burn the chocolate. So... What's up, Nico? How you doing, buddy? Well, I think I'm going to put this in a different bowl for scooping. So I can sit it in the fridge in between. Okay. Yeah, because those, those are going to be one of the last things we do because it's got to cool, right? Well, you just want to keep it cool. So I want to be able to, you know, put it back and forth easily and I don't have room for this big mama in, in the fridge. So here's what your dough will look like. It's pretty much like chocolate chip cookie dough, only it's got a little bit more of a brown tint to it. Yeah, I was, I was about to say the same thing. It literally looks like, you know, cookie dough just without chocolate chips. Exactly. And it's a little more brown because yeah. of the cinnamon and cloves. Yeah, it has a different, just a mild different consistency to it, but totally going to be gorgeous. You know. What was the word I was going for? Gorgeous. Gorgeous and delicious. Delicious. Gorgeous. Joyous. <laughs> De gorgeous. <laughs> Combining words. De gorgeous. Hey, we came up with our own you language got a, a long time ago. Nice little chunk up in there. Like Remember uh, coming up with butimus and mm -hmm. stupendousness and. Yeah, just adding silly words like that. Give me that spatula. I need to, I need to taste test the batter because that okay. never that hasn't changed in years. Okay. I'm gonna, I've never tasted the dough on that gingerbread. I'm not, I'm not going to lick the spatula like I normally would, but I'll definitely take a finger. You can lick it. I'm going to wash it anyway. I'm not going to do it on camera. Why not? Because. Because why? <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Mm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Oh, yeah. So good. Yummy. And it's 
not an overwhelming flavor. No, and it's not. It's not like in your face. No. But it does taste like a gingerbread. Soft gingerbread when, yeah. you, when you bake them. It definitely tastes like gingerbread, but it's not like in your face. Cinnamon and, and clove or whatever. What? But it's definitely, definitely there. Definitely sneaks up on you. All right. Pretzels are definitely the longest like part of this entire process. I'm probably going to be at it for just a little bit longer. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to put this down in the fridge. Oop. Put its little bonnet on. <laughs> little bonnet. Little best cooking things, bonnet. Best things since bubblegum. Get yourself some. They're like like shower curtain wrap or shower hat. I'm going to make a caps, channel in Discord but that is cooking gadgets by mom. They come in lots of different sizes and you can <laughs> cover your bowls very easily and stick them in the fridge and nothing gets And they're them. washable, right? And you can wash them by hand. You know, from well, I've never tried putting them in the washer. Well, I mean, what does the tag I say? I just wash them by hand. I don't know. Well, not even the dishwasher, but in the washing machine. Could you talk no, to the washing machine? I don't know. I haven't well, tried. I, I just you said wash dishwasher. them out by hand because they don't really get dirty. Do they have a tag? Well, I mean, well, these don't. I bought two different kinds. Those I are bought, so, so these are plat like the texture of these feel plat. This like this one's specific. This feels cotton machine wash cold water. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. So, and these feel so more these like these are polyester. more like a polyester, which yeah. of course you could still do, but I dry them on low. Yeah. Or lay them out flat to dry. Right. Yeah, I just wash them out by hand and hang them in with my dishes that are draining. That works too, especially. By the, the way, if y'all didn't know, we make our own vanilla around here. <laughs> I need I need to bring my bottle back to be re-upped. Homemade vanilla, it's delicious. So I need. You know I, what I forgot? Hmm? I mean, it tastes delicious. I also. forgot the freaking ginger. <laughs> well, That's why it's not coming off as ginger. Seriously. Well, Seriously. Just mix it in there with by hand. I don't. Seriously, Sarah? <laughs> hey, you were the one in charge of it, not me. I can't believe I did that. Well, I can't believe I did that, but it was hiding behind your stuff. So, see, we all have airhead moments. Like Julia said, if you make a mistake, just fix it. Nobody will know the difference. Facts. If I hadn't told you, <laughs> I would have. I, I forgot cared. this. It still tastes like a damn gingerbread cookie, though. A little bit. Tastes more like a snickerdoodle, actually. But I was like, where's the I should be tasting ginger. I was like, where is it? So that's why I looked at the recipe again. I'm like, where's the mint? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Do Proof brought to you by the fact she is still opening the spice right now. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to get mine done. I need uh, measuring spoons in here because I've got the other one. Yeah, and they're not there. Mom, your measuring spoons you had out here. I know, but I have another set. Ta -da. My pretty, pretty ones. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. The pretty ones Two that are heart shaped. Spoons. Yes. They look like they came from Brighton. Did did uh, Anna dye her hair? Oh, I think so. Because it's black now. Yeah. Because I saw that when I pulled up. I'm like, that doesn't look like Anna. Yeah, pretty heart shaped. You can see even on the back, there's a beautiful like art texture, like heart. Yeah, they're not really heart, pretty. Heart texture. Okay, now I gotta mix these in and try to make sure I get it all the way through. No, ma'am. Trying to jump up on the door. Yep, she does. Fussing at the doggos. There we go. We're at the tail end of the first bag of pretzel rods. So I'm gonna do so on these nubs that are like broken pretzels, if you put the end that's broken into the chocolate, they'll never know it was broken. It's just a little smaller than the rest. All righty. 
I wish I could say, oh, it's the next song. It's not the next song. You want me to hit the button? Sure. It's like, it's too slow right now. <clears throat> and it looks like I have a, still a whole lot of chocolate in here, and I do. But for good reason, because these are not the only pretzels that I make. Like, I'm doing the rods right now, but I have a whole bag of the normal pretzels that are the twist pretzels that we do as well. It's right here. It's mm, proper. I know. What are you smelling? I think something might have spilled in the oven at some point because I think that's what I'm smelling. Probably. It might be something outside because I do have a window open. All right. Crisis Neighbor overted. Ginger is in the dark. <laughs> Try this again, putting away all this box. A little chocolate <laughs> nub. Alright, I think that's about all I can do with that. So, because it's not very many. Oh. My back needs a break. Yeah, mine does too. But. I want to get these put away. Okay. Sugar I need to leave out because we roll the cookies and sugar. So, do you have a part where we just hold on and sit on cookies? Yeah. I will in just a second. A part of my, my tiredness right now is the fact that I had physical therapy this morning. So, and I'm standing up. So, I was doing a lot of arm movement. And I, I kind of like... Because I forgot about it, set myself up for a little bit of failure. Because <laughs> I loaded my truck this morning, went to physical therapy, came here, and now I'm doing a whole lot of arm work. So it's like, ugh. Alright, so are we done with the rats? Because I've been wanting that shit melting. I don't know, you tell me. You're the one Are you going to make some chocolate chip cookies with pecans in them? For us? I you can. make a batch, you have to make a batch with I, pecans I for can, us. I can make them, yeah. Okay, so, so just leave us, so you just need I'll a leave small a bag. bag. Of pecans yeah. Out. And put the walnuts away. Yeah. I don't need a whole lot of pecans, right? No, just your cup. Okay. And then this is another bag of walnuts that looks like no pecans and bourbon pecans. No, but you cook with them is what I'm implying. Like you spend, a, you, you 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 love, you enjoy cooking with pecans. I love nuts. I don't. <laughs> I think we have a quote from you last year saying you love balls or something like that. I love balls. That's why I have three sets in my purse. <laughs> All three of my ex-husbands. Oh, that is a quote. I'm, I'm dead, dead serious. That is exactly a quote. I have to go look it up here. Hold on. Quote, I love my nuts last year. Yeah. Ironically, one year from tomorrow. Wow. Um, the earth is not flat. It has boobies is another one you said last year. <laughs> what were we talking about? I don't, we, I, don't, I don't remember, but hey, it was great. Um, and then we have, I like balls as well. So yeah. They're there. Oh, my big balls in a kind of look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I think I'm doing pretty good considering how my back feels. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to clean my mixer, and then I'm going to ask you to carry it back over here. Okay. I mean, really, let's, let's look at the list that you sent me. Um. See here. We're doing really well, actually. Yeah, we're we're doing super well, partially because you did the fudge earlier. Yeah. So well, did you show him the fudge that the guy I did. wanted to see it? I did. So magic cookie bars, gingerbread cookies, which are currently in the refrigerator, white chocolate macadamia nut, chocolate walnut, peanut butter fudge, Christmas wreaths, and chocolate. Which I have pretzels. ready to go. Yep. That'll be my next thing. Yep. So once I'm done with the pretzels, you can do the wreaths. You don't even need to be done with the chocolate. Well, I'm saying you're gonna take a break. When I'm done with the pretzels, you can take the camera. I can take a break. Okay. You know, yep. we, we don't have to rush through this. You can take a break for a little bit right now. 
and then I can work on this, and then you can do that, and you know, back and forth. We got time. We're not in any kind of rush. Okay. You know. Um. So that way, you know, I mean, it's only a quarter to one. We've only been at this for an hour. Wow. Yeah. Really? An hour and a half. We get a lot done in an hour. <laughs> well. Like I said, you did the fudge already. I did. I did. So get the, some the fudge, the fudge does take some time, but you did that already, you know. And that that, that was really probably the most tedious one you do. Well, you know? I mean, it's so simple. Right, it, but you have to constantly be at it and mixing it and mixing so that the, the chocolate doesn't burn. Yeah. You know. Okay. So little Miss here can go back over in her spot. I'm just taking a break, guys. My feet hurt. My back hurts. And again. Looky here. Yeah, she's showing off this lovely. Um, My wire keeper, cord wire, keeper, yeah, whatever cord you. Keeper. I don't know what they're called. A cord keeper is a great little name for it. So, and it's you know, it keeps it up out of the way. You don't have to twist around. It doesn't damage the cord. You no. know, it's soft. Rubber. Hi, wifey. And voila. All right. This Would is you... Mama. Hi. Wifey lives in Connecticut, right? Connecticut with her longtime boyfriend and son, Riley. Nice. So. Well, welcome. Mom just finished mixing up the batter for the gingerbread cookies. She's cleaning up her mixer. I'm going to put it back over there, and then she's going to take a quick break. Oh. Almost knife? 15 years. She's been with Fletch for 15 years. Knife? No, I don't know why that knife was out, Mama. I got it out to fix the, um, to get the seal off of the ginger. Just don't stab me with it. Not gonna stab. <laughs> uh, do you, well, we'll leave the vanilla out so when I make yes. um, cookies, you leave the sugar out because you roll the gingerbread. Um, yeah, that's crazy. She's been with Fletch for 15 years. How was physical therapy? Physical therapy was good. Um, my back and shoulder hurts. That's why I'm kind of taking a break right now. Um, I have a little bit more mobility, <coughs> mobility right now because of all the stretching I was doing. Um, I don't have my next, next physical therapy appointment until January 13th because they're so far booked back. But I'm going to call next week and try and squeeze in after the holiday so yeah so i'm gonna leave the brown sugar out here because you're gonna need it if you make chocolate chip cookies i'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies and i want chocolate chip cookies butter softened still out here so you beautiful because it's like one stick of butter I, per I reference set out extra uh, I knew. you always do and then uh they don't have a cancellation list wifey they they, they don't have one they have a uh they just want me to call in and see so, <laughs> no, nope. nope, I still got white chocolate in it. I just haven't melted any yet. I know you are. Mom's cleaning a little I bit. I will chop your pecan for you. But I, yeah, I'll just call in towards the end of next week, like maybe Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, and see if they've had a cancellation I can squeeze in. So, next week my therapist is on vacation, so I can't go into him. Well, I know what I need to do. What, what do you need to do? Yes, yes. I have to make dog food. So in all of this, um, mom has to make dog food because she ran out of dog food. So, all right, I'm going to, let's see. Okay, I'm do I want to continue with the chocolate first there. or do I want to wait? Do I have room? What? I'll use the chair. Never mind, let me get it. Would you like me to get out one so. of the, one of the um, tables and bring no, it in here? I, no, I don't know how hard or easy they are to get to. Let me go look. No, it's fine. I'll just put them on a chair. Do you want to show those to wifey? Sure. Right here. These are the magic cookie bars. They're done as well. So they're pretty much going to just sit and cool, and then we'll cut them um, into pieces later. Yeah. All these recipes I'll be posting in Discord um, later. Yes. Yeah, as long as the dogs aren't in here, they can just sit on a chair. Well, I'm also talking for the chocolate-covered pretzels because since I'm doing, you know, three whole bags. 
If you want to go see if the table is easily accessible, yeah. be mm -hmm. my guest. Give me two seconds. I'm going to go check and see if mom's got the table. Don't need to have to go to that extra work. Well, that's what we do. <laughs> For convenience, Oh, goodness. Let's change that song. I figured it out. Okay. Rice. Cheesecake rice. Be right back. Gotta go get another container of rice. making my own dog food now because I have this very special dog. So that's what I'm doing now. Chris, Sarah will be right back. I don't know if Sarah has shared the saga of Bentley and his digestive issues. <clears throat> but he's, a, he's my special boy. You heard me say his name tonight, he's going to whine. That one. kind of food do you make him? So she is oh. making all the dogs food now. No, no. So Except for the puppy. So let me explain. So Bentley is a soon to be two year old cockatoo. Come over here. Come over here. Cockatoo. And I got, I got you. Stand <laughs> up. I'll fix it. And um, anyway, he about two months ago, he kept having this regurgitation issue, which he's not vomiting where his stomach is, you know, spasming. He was just like throwing his head and stuff would come. Anyway, not to be gross. <laughs> Emergency vet. She basically said his digestion, everything in, you know, the intestines and the colon and all that weren't talking properly to each other because he'd gotten his stuff off balance. So five different medicines later for a month, he was fine. Started... Oh, and he was on a bland diet during all that. Um, started incorporating his regular food back into his diet. Came right back. So I decided to take him off the dry food. I had him on and just give him wet food, like the bland food, but it had more flavor. That worked fine. But whenever he would get into stuff outside, like he likes to eat excrement out of the yard. Deer poop. We, we, we don't shy away. You're talking yeah. about deer poop. He likes dog poop. And he likes deer poop. And so he would regurgitate that in my house. All over <laughs> me. Yeah, it was not pretty. So I... Hey, Mallet. It became very clear that he was allergic to something in the food. Something wasn't setting right. <clears throat> Arsenic. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he said, he said, what kind of poison so, do you use? I like arsenic. That's Mallet. He's he's a older gentleman, a weird one, but we love him. Hi, Mallet. So now I cook chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast in the instant pot, and I cook plain rice, and I add a big scoop of, this is like five chicken breasts to four cups of rice to a big scoop of pumpkin puree. No seasonings, no salt, no oils, nothing like that. And he scarfs it like he's never eaten before, and his coat is like crazy shiny, and the regurgitation is gone. If he gets his mouth on the other dog's food, he he will regurgitate. He's done it um, once since then. He got a hold of the puppy puppy food, got the just a couple bites before I caught him, and he regurgitated, regurgitated later that day. So it's definitely something to do with the food. And he I feed a top level food. I feed Taste of the Wild, and um, so so now I'm giving a little bit to my 13 year old Labradoodle and a little bit to the puppy who's seven months old. And then that's all he eats is exclusively the homemade food. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we kind of broke down to Mallet is, um, you know, we, we, we kind of figured there's something in the dog food that yeah. he's just not, either his body just doesn't want to digest the hard food or something, but it had to be something in it that was causing it. And so we're like, you know what, that you can purchase supplements. We, we order Chewy's all oh, the time. Yeah, I do a um, 10 in one vitamin that I add to his food to, to make sure he gets all his vitamins. Yeah, and he, he eats those straight up. Like, you know, he's never been shy of eating medicine. You know, we don't have to force that, you know, to him. But he, he eats it in okay. all of the dogs. They eat two times a day, Um, you know, the mixture of the wet and the you know the homemade food and, and of course the puppy food for the puppy because she needs the nutrients even though i'm trying to convince mom to just get puppy supplement um but her supplement she's, is based on not, poundage here she's not eating just the homemade food she's getting her she's still getting her right vitamins here. from her dry food okay so here's the here's the here's it right here these are it's the 10 for one multivitamin glucosamine um and these are literally just little, like, cookies. It's like one, he gets one because of his weight, and I just crumble it over top of his food once a day. I don't know if you guys heard her. Um, but, yeah, so, like, and it does based on weight. So, you know, one chew for 1 to 25 pounds, two chews for the bigger dogs. Oh, ads, here we go. <laughs> Ad time. Ad break, everybody. You get ads? Um, if they don't subscribe to my channel, they get ads. So... Um, you know, only, I only have a few subscribers, but we do have a lot of gifted subs in the channel, uh -huh. which, you know, that, that extra 50 to a hundred bucks I get is kind of like my play money, you know, well, that's nice. and stuff that I use for the stream. And, and like people I'll, can use their Amazon prime free, mm -hmm. free sub, free yeah. sub. I get, I get the, nice. um, give me the vitamins back. I was just waiting for wifey so I could show her, but okay. Yeah, people, you could like, keep like you could come into my channel because you have Amazon Prime. And but I subscribe to somebody else with your Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my face here. I literally got hit with an ad. Made my skeleton part of my body for two point three seconds. <laughs> but yeah, so um, they she gives her the she gives them the multivitamins. But once the puppy is past the puppy stage and into the you know toddler stage, where are my cookies at, bro? Joe is chilling. Right here. We're going to make cookies as soon as she's out of the house. <laughs> so we, we were kind of in like high gear. Thank you for the goat scream for the bits. Bitties. Thank you, hi -bee. Um, we, we, we were in high gear for a little while. We're downshifting. We're going to, you'd rather just eat the dough? I'm the same way. Um, we're downshifting a little bit. We're going to slow down because we're not in any kind of rush. To get anything done so mom's gonna take a break once she's done getting the rice started for the dog food okay so she's gonna continue working um, but once she's done chopping the pecans um, she's gonna go sit and take a break pecans pecans whatever same thing pecans pecans okay here's a poll is it pecans or pecans here's here's a poll for the chat it's pecans Pecans or pecans? So, now I'm going to move on to these twist pretzels here into the chocolate. So, 
Pecans, P A A. Got you. Oh, he said P A A. Pecan. Wifey says it's pecan. Pecan, pecan, pelican. <laughs> it's a pelican. It's a pelican. <laughs> Hybe with his weirdo. Hybe, what what country are you from? I forget. It's is it Germany or or you go to Germany? I forget. See, this is what happens. All of the chocolate on the side, you're, you're Dutch. Okay, so that's Norway. Norway. You're from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. So I always, get, I always get the Netherlands and Norway confused because Alf is from Norway and Swans is from the Netherlands. I always get them confused. So, but I think, I think Germany, Norway, or Norse. Okay. Norwegian, right? Don't they call them Norwegians, or do they call them Norse? Norse. Norse. Hi, they said okay. Norse. Can you give me one? Yes. Eva? Yes. It's big and obtrusive and in my way. Wait, yeah, can Thank you, you grab my chocolate? Either or. Grab your what? Uh, grab my chocolate. Oh, out of the microwave? Do you want me to wait till it's done? Yeah, wait till it's done. Okay. I had her put the peppermints back. Either or. Yeah, I had always heard Norwegian, but... Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Is that how you say it? Or is that German? Heidi. My dad used to say that a lot. He would say, Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? I think that's German, actually. That is, yes. Yeah. I believe so. <clears throat> so you can say that's German? Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. All right. Rice is cooking. Gonna go take my break now. Yes, go take your break. Okay. Go take your break. I gotta go sit. I need to get something to drink. I'm gonna pull a chair around. Pull a chair around. So I can sit while I do this. I could pull a chair around and sit. You can. And take a break with I you. I think you did that last time. I did that year. last time. Yeah. That's okay. We had to pull a chair around. Do we have any Sprite hiding? What is? We do. Sprechen Sie Deutsch uh, was German. Do you speak German? Yeah. Do you speak German, German or whatever? So, yes. Sprite in the pantry on the floor. Cool. They're not cold. That's fine. I don't care. But if you check your dad's refrigerator, there might be some. I'm not going to steal from dad's refrigerator. He'll get over it. He'll get over it. If you put one, if you replace it with one from the pantry, he'll never know. <sighs> Tears. I will adjust the camera in just a moment. Oh, girl. Oh, Pure Leaf is coming back out with their peach tea. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm easily pleased. Peach tea makes me happy. Feels nice. My glass was out. So, how does that feel? I think it looks good. You'll be able to see you. And me too. It's hot in here. It is warm in here, but that's why we have the window open. So that is very thick chocolate milk. That's because it is not milk. It is just chocolate. So this is the it's melting chocolate. Melting chocolate that I use for the pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels. Are you still doing so, the dark? You haven't started the white yet? Yeah, no, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and do the cool. twist pretzels. Just make sure you leave a little bit to drizzle over the white ones mm -hmm. that we don't put peppermint on. Yeah. yeah. And I still, oh, yeah, you still, I still have this, a whole, too. whole, yeah, I still have a yeah. whole okay. brick. We always use more of the dark chocolate than we do of the. But the white chocolate ones are the ones that Patrick loves. So if you make more white chocolate, so I usually only do one bag of these. I did two this year. Right, and I did so, one whole bag of the chocolate, and okay. I'm going to do one whole bag of the white chocolate. White chocolate. Okay, that will make so, Patrick extremely happy. And uh, you know, because it's always the white chocolate, right? That he and I love. 
Mmm, uh, chocolate yeast. So, Scoodles had a great idea. Um, Scoodles had a beautiful idea that Mom took. We had some peppermint and we... Um, candies. Peppermint candies and we... Pulverized it. Pulverized it, thank <laughs> you. That blender. was the word I was, you know, chop the them up in a blender. And then once the... Once I go to drizzle, we'll, on some of them, because not everybody likes peppermint, myself included, um, we're going to put them on the chocolate covered pretzels and my dad's gonna go nuts for him he absolutely loves peppermint he does well, and he loves chocolate bark which we should make one year make like bark. peppermint chocolate white yeah, yeah we should do that maybe next that year that would be fun that'd be fun to do um, so you can put like m&ms and all kinds of fun you can make them look really pretty mm -hmm. yeah maybe we'll do that next year instead of chocolate covered pretzels or something or the fudge no in addition to <laughs> mom's like no we're doing it all I have to do my regular things or people get really upset. Like if I did I tried to not do she Reese one year, remember? Well, you, you. What happened when I didn't do Reese? Oh yeah, we fight you. I fight you. But um, it honestly, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you, mom. Because of the older I get, the less my stomach can handle. I I am not gonna be heartbroken in the future if we alternate that. You know, the race with the bark. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem doing and that. And do something, do something like just a plain old chocolate bark with some. Nuts. We can bag the race today and do something different. Like I could probably, we could probably make a batch of bark. We've got plenty. I could even do like this. I don't know. Let me. Where's let me your see. Hold, hold Oh, I got, I got you. I got you. Yeah, let me. I'll you take whatever thing. goodies you don't want. Yeah. I mean, so. You do your thing while I look up. I absolutely. That was wifey. Um, uh, I absolutely love the Christmas candy wreaths, and I'm happy. They're to, so pretty. Yeah, they're so pretty. They're basically, it's basically a Rice Krispie treat, um, and I really think it's the food coloring. It, it tastes like one, <laughs> but, but then they're dyed green. But they're dyed, yeah, they're they dyed green. Little red cinnamon candies that look like they look like wreaths with yeah, little red balls. Little, on them. and I don't do the I don't do the the cinnamon candies that she does because I don't like the the cinnamon mint flavor um i just like a plain but we'll take like sprinkles and <coughs> you know decorate them but last year i ate an absolute f ton of them and it destroyed my stomach so the older i'm getting the less yeah the older i'm getting the less like a handle of some things you know are you working today wifey or are you off today Loves cinnamon. Yup, yup, yup. It's the, you, you know, the little cinnamon red candies, like the little cinnamon, red cinnamon crispy thingies. <clears throat> With <throat> peppermint all over it. Like literally you could put anything you want. And do we have yeah. the stuff? Um, Dad would go nuts if we did that, you know that, right? Well, we obviously could chop up more roughly, more roughly, like with a knife, some of the peppermint and have it be in bigger chunks. Yeah, so instead of like pull right and just pulse it until yeah. it breaks up, yeah, yeah, you could do that. Like I could do it in the food processor and control it better in the food processor. Yeah, the food pro and it would probably break up better mm -hmm. than the mixer. There's also a way you could swirl it. So we could do, oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Oh yeah, that's very so pretty. You, we could take just a little bit of the white chocolate, melt it, add a little green food coloring, take a little bit, add green, uh, red. I mean, and swirl it in there. There's nothing beautiful. saying we can't just add that to the and list. And I have too. sprinkles. There's nothing saying we can't just add it I and do it all. Like it's that. You, like you said, that's going to be super easy. So okay, we'll add peppermint bark to the list this year. So I brought out all the bark, didn't I? I think so. And there's two whole things of white left. So this is white. That's white. This. So if you use one whole thing of white. Which will probably be this do. because that will work better. You could, and then I could use another whole one to do bark. And you can use these trays without the. Well, I could use the other tray. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not even using the tray itself. I'm just sitting it over there and then just carrying it back and forth. 
You're about to be done with your first shift in uh, another six hours at three. Well, I mean, heck yeah, that's a two hour break. All right, I need a drink. I haven't drank anything candy since and sprinkles. I have all kinds of cute sprinkles up there. I only have like little M&M candy, candies you can toss so, in there. Candy, so she used different colors of candy melt, but there's no reason we couldn't use the food coloring. I know I have green. I'm pretty sure you I have red. You probably have red. It's up in the cabinet, right? I, it's up there. I'll check in a little bit, but I'm positive you have red. I have little snowflakes. I have some really cute sprinkles up there. Yeah, you Dad Anything? would go freaking bonkers. There's some sprinkles, m <laughs> Toothpicks for swirling. I have all that set up. My little baking sheet with parchment paper. I have that. So with the... Melt your chocolate. With these guys, we literally, it literally just, you know, it's dunking the top half, not getting my fingers in the chocolate. Um, and then, you know, so it gives that little smiley face. And then I'll drizzle it with white chocolate when I'm done. So this is like, seriously, the chocolate covered pretzels are the longest part of this process. They just take so long. I've been at it since we started. <laughs> so see, they just start with the white. Mm -hmm. Then they put dollops of the, the, know, the, the colored the kind. Colored Bark, yeah. And then they swirl it with a toothpick. Look at how pretty that is. And then a little bit of crumble on and then top. And they, then they put whatever toppings. Sprinkles, candies, m &Ms, whatever. Freaking love it. If you had M&M's, that'd be great. They did M&M's. The red and, red and yeah. green M&M's. I, I would be super stoked mm -hmm. if you had M&M's to do it. And I'd be like, give me the M&M kind. I don't. That sucks. <laughs> you could always go get some. I could, yeah. I very well could. There's, there are three stores within two miles. Mm-hmm. Go get a big bag. Oh, speaking of M and M's, so I'm I'm waiting for Ange to pop in here, but she may not be in. And, um, she may not be in because she works there. But uh, Ange is one of my friends that lives in Ohio. She works at a dealership up there in uh, Worcester. And yeah, Worcester. Uh, Worcester. And uh, at her company Christmas party the other day, she got a five gallon bucket of peanut M and M's. <laughs> oh and my I'm God. Like, First off, where'd you get a five gallon bucket of M&M's and where can I find the peanut butter ones? Get them on Amazon for like 30 bucks. In a five gallon bucket? Not, you get a five pound bag. It's on my wish list. Well, five pounds is not gonna fill a five pound bucket. Five, yeah, no, five gallon bucket, yeah. Five gallon bucket. I, I don't, I don't, she had a set of five gallons, so they probably bought a couple of bags to fill a five gallon bucket for her. Wow. But they've got like, I put on my wish list a like three and a half pound bucket of peanut butter m ms <laughs> Because you remember when that's like, it's like just stuff my stocking with peanut butter m ms And you did. I remember I used to work with a girl in California when I worked for Baxter. And she, her favorite thing in the world was to watch a movie and eat buttered Cheerios. So I one year I bought her that. one of those big popcorn tins that you can get different flavored popcorns in, and I filled it with Cheerios. And then I stuck cubes of butter all over the top so she could melt it herself. And, you know, stuck the lid on it and put a big bow on it and gave it to her for Christmas. <laughs> she thought that was the best thing ever. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's like because you paid attention to something she enjoyed. Yeah. Well, right? It, it's, it's like... You know, you don't have to buy me anything superficial. You get me something you know I enjoy, I'm going to love it forever, right? There was be super easy there was a book I read. It's called Popcorn Love, okay? In this in this book, the they're college kids. And the favorite college snack, found a three-pound bucket but not a five, probably from Costco, probably. Um, the favorite college snack was popcorn... And then once the popcorn was done, they put in, Mom, yeah. be careful. Okay. She's over here putting a chair up against the counter, and she's afraid of heights, and I'm nervous. Other one. Nope. Just um, but they put, I want to say Reese Pieces or M&M's, one or the other. And... <laughs> I have caught mom before. She's off the chair now. So, 
but they put Reese Pieces or, or M and M's in the. I'd have to go back and look at the book. In the popcorn, and I'm like, if I actually enjoyed popcorn, I'd probably like that. That's how my green's been telling. Because <laughs> you have to buy extra because it always goes out every year. There's green sprinkles, white sprinkles, like I said. Here's the green. We use the red like nuts. And here's all the there's red and green and white. All the colorful. There's tons of red and green and white. Well, it looks like we're adding in adding in peppermint bark to this. Yeah, the whole brand new one. It's pink. That looks nah, we don't. Pink. We don't need. Yeah, that is pink. That's Sophie pink. Yeah. Uh, you have a whole other green, white, and There's red green in there. Right mm-hmm. The red's gone. No, but the green, white, and red. White pearls. Yep. In your. Lovely. In, your, in the bag in your hand, there's another bottle unopened of the green, white, and blue on the back side there. I spotted it when you were walking away. Like, right where your finger is, lady. Uh, Other side. That's chocolate. Is that good? Half empty? Yeah, use, so we'll use those first. Yeah, use those first. Rather than the open ones. Agree with you, though. I'd rather mm -hmm. homemade craft you make for something big and okay. expensive. Yeah. We'll use these up. Yeah. Awesome. Use up the sprinkles that we've had for God knows how many years. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're good. Twitch mobile is so toxic. Yeah, I know. Twitch mobile is toxic. Twitch okay. is toxic. Twitch is toxic. The game, the, the not Why the game though. Toxic? Um, just there are some people on this app that are very rude and disrespectful, and one of the reasons why I love Sanctuary well, so much. Uh, yeah, but one of the reasons why I love the community that I'm in that you joined because Bree was like she's bullying us. <laughs> What the re re uh, I need to take a breath because I'm excited and I'm yeah, talking you need super to relax fast. a little bit. You're getting a little hyped up. I am. When you joined the sanctuary Discord that Bree tagged you in, yes. saying she's over here bullying us. Oh yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I love this. I was introduced to that community a little over a year and a half ago, and um. One of the reasons why I love that community so much is because, you know, they are very much supportive of everybody. Yeah, we're still assholes, just loving assholes. <laughs> just nice assholes. We'll call you on your bullshit and love you for it anyways. Hello, right? asshole. Hello, asshole. Are you done with this coffee? Yeah. Yeah. It's long cold. One of my favorite Lies. Movies. Hello, asshole. <laughs> Hello, poppin'. That was an email. So I'm going to use one of these, right? I'm yeah, that top one. I, I honestly, Mom, normally the, the white chocolate for some reason doesn't, I don't use as much as the white chocolate, even though I do the same amount. I, it, for some reason, the white chocolate is thinner almost than the dark chocolate. So we may have a half a bag that you can still use. Well, on top what of I want to do is I want to take two cubes and make red, which I did not find red good color. And two cubes and make them green. So and take the rest and make the bark. But it's two o'clock. Can you do an instant card order? I can, but <laughs> and I see if they can get here. Dollars worth. Okay. Of free delivery. And it would be a couple of hours. Oh, fair. Is it terrible? I don't know if they're but I hope work is dead tonight so I can play scum. No, it's yeah. not terrible. Can we try the other containers? Yeah, Mom, we can. I know. Oh, I got chocolate all over my ring. Oops. Um, No, it's not terrible. Not terrible at all. So, I had fun last night. It's very much a Daisy standalone, basically. Taking my ring off. Is there some over here, Mom, by chance? I have baskets in the top of all the cabinets, but all of the decorating stuff should have been together. Because that's what I do. I know. I keep it together. You know, I'm seriously just going to do this real quick. Because it's so much easier to work on this parchment cake paper, and I'm not fighting the edges. Yeah, Daisy's great. Like, I definitely like Daisy in regards to like chillness but i like the the concept of scum so i like that there's a little more difficulty to it 
But Daisy's cool when you just want like a survival chill game with friends. Broken. You know, and and coming from somebody who used to dev a Daisy server back before that community merged with mine, um, if Fletch wants help, just let me know. I'm happy to have. Because I used to, I've hosted Valheim servers, I've hosted, um, I have hosted Daisy servers, I've done Space Engineer servers, I've done Minecraft servers, um, did I say Valheim? Valheim servers, um, you know, I, I, all of those games, like, you know, I've done... That's why, like, last night when we were asking about all of those things, I said there should be a config option that you can go in and change certain things or disable certain things, even base game, to remove those. Like, you, the whole fame points or whatever, there should be a way to either disable them being a, a permanent thing or adjust them like we figured out last night to give everybody fame points so they can just do whatever. Yeah. It takes time. It takes time. I know that. Coming from somebody who has dev servers, I'm not going to end up doing this whole bag of pretzels. I really am not. But, because it's just, they're so tiny. These are a lot smaller than the pretzels we've gotten before when it comes to the twist pretzels. These are a lot smaller and a lot thinner. Bite size? Mm-hmm. I mean, see if you can get it within, you know, like a half an hour to an hour. If not, I'll just run over there um, while you're doing the wreaths and grab some. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put. That's if they have it. Okay. I'm gonna sit this down, and I'm going to use that for a little bit. Yep. So I'm um, can inter entertain for a moment. Should I dance? What would you like? <laughs> get down on us. Tasty and sunshine bay. <laughs> you know I was raised on, you know, good music lately. Yes. Back when it was good. All right. <laughs> We're going to see if they have rare tree killing. Hi, hi. Skog Catten. Did I say that right? Skog Catten? Do you go by cat? Looking for holiday M and M's that are just the red and green ones, and there they are. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if they have peppermint already ground up. Peppermint candies. Crushed red pepper. <laughs> oh, I did pronounce it right? Okay, good. All right, so let's see what Sarah thinks. But I'm thinking maybe I'll get these other hard peppermints that, you know, you're used to with the, you know, like you get at a restaurant, the white with the red wheels, wheel design around it. That's what I'll 
also make it taste like peppermint. So peppermint extract. So they claim to have red food coloring. They claim to have the red and green M&Ms. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? So, hey, Skog. What did you say you got it for? Because um, I was trying that? to pronounce the name. I said Scott Catton, and yeah. I said, do you go by Cat? And then I was, wasn't was sure if I pronounced that right, and I was thinking if there was a different way yeah. to pronounce we, it. We all and he said, you got it. She, yeah. He or she, I'm sorry. Scog is a former U.S. Coastie. Oh, it's not right. Who lived it in... It makes, instantly makes me think of Brian Westerland. Uh-huh. Um, lived in Seattle, moved to Chicago recently, this past year. Hey, Jupiter. What's up, buddy? Jupiter hey, hey. is my Cuban buddy who lives in Florida. Hey, hey. He works for American Airlines Sweet. out of Miami, right? Only way I fly. Only way I fly is American. So. So. What do you do for American? Because our, my new vice president came from American IT. <clears throat> I think he does it right, though. Where'd the parchment paper go? There it is. Uh, it's in the box right there, or you can use the roll. If you, you are just correct. just pull out one sheet, it'll fit your thing just perfectly. Or you can use that. Oh, yeah, I was using this. So you, he does work for it. He works. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, my he, new VP Romero mm -hmm. came from American Army. Okay. Um. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to run and grab? Are you, first of all, we should see, are you going to be good with this? Is that enough? Do we need to get more of that too? I'm thinking. I need to melt this a little bit more because I've got a little bit that is sticking up on there. So I you think, still have this. Yeah, and I've still got these right here. So I think I'm good on that. I'll start the white chocolate. Honestly, I think I'll have enough between this and half of that to do the bag of rods. Um, and uh, basically two, two things of these. And it, like you said, if you need to do more, we can always get more. Um, I am currently working on chocolate covered pretzels. Um, and then w Mama is working on potentially doing an instant cart order because we figured out that we can make peppermint bark basically or chocolate bark um, for those of us who don't yeah, like peppermint. Yeah, I have a total of $7.48 right now. So. Well, you can order Dad more Sprite or you can get more chicken and groceries. I mean, I don't know how much rice you had. It looked like your rice was almost empty. Do you need to make a grocery order? No, I have two big bars. It said in my screen too. Okay. But I could probably get more chicken. Because they're going through a package of breasts. Mm -hmm. We saw, what, four, four breasts? Five. Right? Four good size or five. five small. And four cups of cooked, four <laughs> cooks of, cups of uncooked. So Jupiter says he works on the ramp. Luggage doesn't talk back and it's more relaxed than dealing directly with passengers. And uh, Skog asked what I was making, which I answered. Right. And then Jupiter's like, just give me the container of chocolate. I'll eat that. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is baking chocolate. Um, I use this container because I can dispose of it chocolate. later. Melting chocolate, almond bark. So I'm only going to nuke it to, I'm not going to continue the rest of it. But, yeah, this is. So. Well, he was playing the, the, the sound alert that I had that goes chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni. It's a song. I don't song. know that one. It's a weird <laughs> song. Hi, hi, B. Thank you again for the biddies. So. I do not know that. Um, but so far, mom has already, mom started the day and she she doesn't know, though. What? Um, uh, how I explain I love it. how you explain everything. I mean, oh. she, she, yeah, she just doesn't know. Yeah, because I don't, I don't do the gaming thing. I mean, I actually, I just bought another game yesterday. What game? Uh, she says she's not a gamer, but she spends more time on Animal Crossing than anybody I know. And she had two Switches at one point and had two active islands. I did. On Animal Crossing, but I'm not it's a gamer. True. Shut up, Mom. It's true. Animal Crossing is a game. Shut your face, Heidi. She's not an RP -er. Yeah. Well... Mm. <laughs> No, I am. Um, I bought my time in Portia. Oh, you're gonna love that game. It's it's okay. So far, it's kind of cool. Heidi said, "Fight me." So I put this up. 
bitch. Uh, <laughs> yo, this new place okay. I RP at, we have a person called Megan James. They sound just like our Megan. <laughs> Calm down, don't give me any more shit to do right now. <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out like how to store extra stuff and like I'm still trying to figure out all the buttons and what they do and they're piling up shit for me to make. And I'm like, just stop a minute. And I found out how to go hey, into Ambie. the game and slow it down. <laughs> Hi Ambi. Um <clears throat> Yes. Uh and sprites, you said. Yeah, get another thing of sprites. I mean, honestly, sprites. remember, I am coming in a week to stay well, there for four days. Well, that was another thing I was going to ask you before we start, start talking about games, is is there anything specific you want me to write on? I mean, if you want to get me, like, some... So some, I got a couple pounds of hamburger, a couple I, I, more packages of chicken. I really hate cooking for food for me, so, like, if you want to get, like, a couple of the Marie did you, calendar... Did you like the Pia Chang thing? No, they destroyed no? my stomach. Okay. I'm gonna get two more sprites, and then you want Marie Marie calendars? That yeah, you? that's like Wait, the best one. Pies? You could do two, like you could do a chicken pot pie. They've got a buffalo ma uh, mac and cheese. Okay, let's get one at a time. Hold yeah. on. You're hearing you're not, <laughs> but dozing off again. It's okay. I know you're recovering. How's your shoulder feel? Beef and broccoli bowl. No, I don't like that. Chicken and dumpling bowl. That works. I like chicken and dumpling. Uh. They chicken should have teriyaki bowl. No. Mac and cheese. cheese. Chicken and rice bowl. No. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo. Mm. Yeah, you can do one of those. Beef pot roast. No. Chicken pot pie. Yes. Okay, I got one of each of those that you said yes on. Okay. And then, okay, four cheese ravioli bowl. No. Chicken parmigiana bowl. No. What is wrong with you? Well, I, no. Salisbury steak. No. Chicken and gravy. No. Roasted turkey breast and stuffing. No, God, it's not Thanksgiving. Pesto cavalletti. Mm, pesto? Pesto cavalletti bowl. It's grilled chicken with pesto. Yeah, you can do one of those. <clears throat> and then that looks. Oh, wait, here we go. Chocolate garlic covered pretzels. Garlic chicken bowl. Spaghetti. Chocolate. Garlic chicken. Spaghetti meatballs. That one. Not that one, but similar. There's another mac one. Mac and cheese, chicken burrito. There's another mac and cheese. Swedish that. meatballs, you should try that one. Steak. No. Mac and cheese. That's it. That's that all one. I have. That one. I have that one. Buffalo. Spicy yeah. buffalo. Okay. Uh, so let's see how It's many in your jaw. Is. So, Ambi, it's probably the same thing that happened to me, and your shoulder is tensing up. You need Three, to go to the doctor. Five. That's five, and I'll be gone five days, so that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, yeah, you, you need to go to the doctor. I have breakfast stuff for, um, the weekend. Mm -hmm. I've got um, waffles and pancakes, frozen waffles and pancakes, and I've got frozen breakfast burritos. Um, make sure you have a loaf of bread. There's bread in there. Well, good there probably won't be. Make sure you have an extra loaf of bread for me, so that and way I can make a sandwich, and then you can grab some honey smoked turkey breast, and that way I can pack my lunch. Because I still have to work most of those days. Yes. Okay. Have fun, Jupiter. I'll be around. We'll be at it for a while. I'm, I'm picking past the broken. You okay with Oscar Mayer? Um, do they have... There's a cheaper brand. It's on sale right now for four ninety nine. There's a cheaper brand. I mean, we could do that too, but it's only this four ninety nine. dollars the... right now. This is the pound... This is the one yeah. I'd want to get because it's cheaper to buy the nine ounce one. <laughs>
I'll take care of Sorry, you. Sorry, that's my daughter in the background making noise. Oh, well, okay. Well, I make noise. Donna. Donna says hi, Sarah. Hello. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be there. It'll probably be something like 6, 630. Because Patrick still has to work, but. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be there. With bells on. <laughs> <laughs> See, you had me till you mentioned stuff. Sweet. Well, I mean, um, whoever gets there first, we got to try to get that big table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Night, nice uh, and warm. Deb and Greg, another couple we know, are coming too. So, yeah, big, big, big group. Sweet. So basically, guys, I'm finishing up this tray. That sounds um, good. All right, sweetheart. I'll see you in a little while. I'm gonna finish up Goodbye. this tray of sugar tea sugar tits I love, I love it oh my god she's I love bad. it I'm gonna finish up this tray of chocolate covered pretzels and ah! what kind of cheese do you want for your sandwich I don't want okay all right let's see if I can get this here quick cursives you can't see what I'm doing because we're we are talking too, so I don't want to like completely pull away from the conversation. All right, I did a priority within like 50 minutes. That's all we need. So it's an extra two bucks, but I don't care. So it's two dollars. I know, and my time and gas is worth more than that. <laughs> my gas is worth more than that at this rate. <laughs> Could have taken that, I'm blocking you, man. Two camera setup. So I can do a two camera setup. I just left the second camera at home. I'll donate before next Christmas. Why would we need a two camera setup? So that way we could have one camera on what I'm on doing the food. and another and, camera oh, on. Yeah, us. that's that's so yeah. You know what? They have a thing now where you can put your uh, phone on it and video, and it will follow you. Yeah, so the so only thing... So that would thing... be kind of cool. Stationary on the Four. on the counter, but mm -hmm. have one that follows you. So the only thing about that is I don't know how to integrate uh, my phone... You'll figure it out. ...to OBS. You figure it out. All right. Um, I, I need a tissue. I'll go this way. Yeah, let me get back by you. You need Christmas cookies? Um, In the process. <laughs> Wifey said she didn't bake this year, but she needs Christmas cookies. My goodie boxes go for 50 bucks a piece. Plus <laughs> shipping. I would never do that. I would just do shipping. So, um, yeah, these are, I, I, I'll show you guys in just a second everything we've done so far. Mom's already done the fudge. Um, we've done the magic layer cookie bars, uh, seven layer cookie bars. We've done... Um, a whole tray of chocolate covered pretzels. I'm about to switch over from the, the dark chocolate to the white chocolate. Um, she's already got the, um, there we go. She's already got the dough for the gingerbread cookies in, on chill. When I'm done with this, so we, we slowed down. When I'm done with this, she's going to do the Christmas candy wreaths. Uh, sweet and condensed milk and so what mom does and you can go back and look because I had her go over it she does a layer of graham crackers then the sweet yeah, and condensed those milk those are magic cookie bars and I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting the recipe for all of these in discord no you put the condensed milk on top of the graham crackers and then you put everything else on top and then you lightly press it and then you bake it and that um, condensed milk bubbles up and it captures everything yeah um, yeah, so that's what she does. And you could go back. It's like the very first thing we did. So you can watch it from the beginning, Skog. Um, but I'm going to post the recipes. I'm going to take pictures of everything. I'm going to post all the recipes for everybody. So, and you guys can see just how easy this is. Literally, the chocolate covered pretzels are the longest thing I have to do. They're because still it's not hard. They it's not hard. Long. They're just, it's lengthy. So check out check out we're going bougie this year we're going bougie i saw that she went gold this year we're going bougie with bougie. my uh, 
with my boxes. I have <laughs> gold cupcake holders and oh little gosh. cups to hold candy. Yeah. And then I have gold papers to line the boxes. And, and it's and not just any gold paper. It's gold, gold snowflake paper. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, white pretty colors. A lot boxes. of bling, right? Little blings, little pink and gold. This is very up your alley, Andy. Pink and gold. And then. You gotta figure out how to put those together. Pretty little star boxes. I need the. Oh no, they're. Look, they're easy. Just like that, you pop them open. Yep, and, and then, then put a whoop. sheet in here. Just like that. So these, we're doing over 12 goodie boxes because several neighbors. Um, friends, neighbors. Friends, mostly. neighbors. Myself, uh, my, my dad's work. She, oh, hold on, I'm fixing the box. See, aren't those cute? All right. <laughs> Look, we can't all stay, live at a storage neighbors, facility. What are those? Okay. <laughs> she has storage units for her neighbor. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna show this to people. Scoochie. All right, I'm gonna slide out. So, pretty box, right? I'm putting the gold snowflake paper inside. All right, I'm gonna move the camera so y'all can see this. Well, what she's and doing. then we have these pretty little gold cups that can hold like pretzels or gingerbread cookies. And then we have these other cupcake liner things that can also hold stuff in here like that. I'm gonna move this to the side for a little bit. And then we have these little cupcake liners that are also gold on the inside, so they show. So, and then we can have like pretzels in there and yeah, right? Blingy. And then I have gold and white rope to tie up the boxes with. She's going straight bougie, y'all. Straight bougie this year. Normally straight I use bougie. cardboard boxes that I buy off Amazon. <laughs> Co-workers, roommates, me, Christmas party, road trip, maybe one or two of my friends, but my baking space and time is extra limited this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking and baking at home. It's because I don't have a lot of room. Thank you, Andy. I love them, too. I don't know how much we're going to fit in here. We'll see, but I'm thinking I can stack fudge. I can put um, two or three of the seven-layer cookie bars in here. Um... I think that might have just been like one to hold the bottom. I think these are all the tall tulip ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was just one to hold the bottom. <clears throat> or hold the frame so inside. So I could actually do two of those. Four. You could do one, two, three, four. I could. I have plenty. So, and then you could put these. But I need room to put long pretzels. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking. This is what she's thinking, guys. I'm thinking like that. And... Yeah, that won't work. I don't know how y'all live in the city. I'm so glad my walls are soundproof. Oh, look, I can do this. And then pretzels. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. So I think this is good enough on the chocolate. Okay. So I have to take two of these with me tonight. For because Donna. Because Donna will be there. Donna might Okay, so cool. You guys are going to be able to see Greg. us put these gift boxes together, yeah. too. So that'll be sweet. Get this out of your way. You're good. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move these guys over. Um, so these are the current. Like this is just one tray. I have done two of the chocolate like this, and I have done a whole bag of pretzel rods, which is three. Um, we're gonna go. So I'm gonna go sit them on the table. Start on the white chocolate, and then when the white chocolate's done, I will drizzle the white chocolate in the chocolate, and I will drizzle the dark chocolate in the white chocolate. I forgot to show you the tags. Handmade with love. Okay, I'm excited about those boxes. They're going to look really pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're going to look great. Alright, so we need to probably get some cookies in the oven. Okay, you want me to move out of the way so you can have a moment well, to make I some cookies? We could batch okay. So, this is the best ever. I, got, I, can, I can move off to the side for a minute because the rods don't take up that much space. Well, it'll just take me a minute to scoop some cookies. And you got to do the sugar on them. Do you want to get a little bowl so you can roll them? Yep. In the bowl? Yep. I 
All right, so I'm not going to adjust the camera, guys, because she's going to do some of the um, um, ginger cookies. So, um, just get, Mama, just get one of your melamine bowls. Uh, there is no more. Oh, melamine. right there. Right there. There is no more melamine. I want it deeper so the sugar doesn't go everywhere. Okay. But yeah, she's gonna she's gonna do one of those really quick. Mm -hmm. Um. Here, dump, dump you know, half cup sugar in there for a minute. What? And then I think I can put two at a time. These are baking little sheets. baking sheets. It creates less cleanup. Well, and it guarantees your stuff isn't going to stick if you have any sort of accident. Super They're just parchment paper. Yeah, cheap. super cheap. <clears throat> so. Okay. I need cookie scooper. <laughs> By cookie scooper, she means an ice cream scoop that we have repurposed for scooping cookies. Oh, these are actually four cookies. Nobody makes ice cream scoops that small. Nobody in their right mind makes That's an ice cream scoop. scoop that small. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, so here's the gingerbread cookie dough. Go over here. Mm -hmm. It's focused on the pans right okay. now. So what I have to do is scoop these, roll them gently in a ball, toss so them in sugar, and set them on the pan. Do this so they can see you. That would be good. Yes. Right there. Perfect. Yeah. And then when you're done, swap the tray. So go to that one first. Oh, you want me to right do first. this one first? Go to the right first because that's the more, you okay. know, that's what, and then swap the trays. Right? Yeah. Because that's what's going to feel natural. These are really small. You're going to want the bigger one. That's what I'm wondering. You're going to want the bigger one. But I don't want them giant because they have to fit in the, they do spread. That'll be okay. I'm just lightly rolling these, like just barely. I don't want to handle them very much because I want them to stay cool. If you handle them too much, they'll spread, but you won't get a fluffy, chewy cookie. It'll change the texture. Light coating of sugar. Put them on here about two inches apart. find some more upbeat Christmas music, okay. like modern Christmas music. Blech. That has like Mariah Carey. No, like you want country Christmas. Do country Christmas. Keith Urban and Christmas. Martina McBride and some of the older stuff is really good. Okay, well Garth I hit classic, so I know, we've do... been listening to it for hours though now. Alright, we're gonna do country Christmas playlist. Country Christmas Classics? Do, do that one right this there. One. Yep. Okay, Thomas Rhett. Thomas Rhett. It'll have some Brett Eldridge. It'll have some, uh, there's Brett Eldridge, Maddie and Tay, Dan and Shay. Lady A. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Lady A is really good. So mom is a country person. Um, well, I'm also a classic rock girl. And I actually like a lot of the uh, stuff I'm hearing now that's different. It's more poppy more poppy folksy. Oh, um, I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's like a reggae country Well, and almost. It's almost like going back to the 50s where people are really singing. Like, yeah, like a soul. It's not... It's, like, a, like a soulful blues yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, it's not a bunch of synthesizing going on. It's real... 
real vocals with very little music behind it. Country music, country <laughs> Christmas music is the way to go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I personally like my personal favorite Christmas. Look at that. I love me some country Christmas. Yeah. Love it. Check Discord. See, stick with me, girl. You'll be all right. <laughs> all right, I'm checking Discord. I got my phone right here. Hi, B. I got the sugar on that one. Nice. Well, you know what? I appreciate it, Heidi. I really do. So every every and, and I've said this before, I'm super thankful for um, all of the gifted subs uh, that you have gifted and everyone has gifted um, all of the bits you know um, you guys don't realize it but sometimes those those you know I call it my play money but a lot of times that's my gas money yeah a lot of times that's her gas <laughs> money and her food money yeah so. that's my gas money and my, my food money she for doesn't me to have be able to, to call mommy which she doesn't like to do okay stick that back <laughs> in the fridge please can I eat the dough balls <laughs> He likes the dough. Well, sure. Actually, we tasted it, and it was pretty You good. might need to catch a flight, Timer. and it may be gone before you get here. Um, but go look and see how long it's going to take. Yeah, exactly. It's my CYA. Go so in the oven. i got to find a recipe box again. I don't remember. I think it might take like eight minutes. Like, it's been, it's been super helpful for me because, you know, on a timer, please. with work um, and the fact that I've been on light duty. You said eight minutes? Yes. And then I'm gonna, you can move this out of the way. I need, you wanna do the white chocolate. The start. Right there, that that's way. how you do it. Boom, done, got it. Same button to start, same button to stop. All right, I'm gonna fix the camera, guys. Give me a second. I'm gonna do some dishes real quick. Okay. You're gonna do white chocolate while I'm doing the chocolate chip Now I'm on to the white chocolate. Hell yeah, bud. That's the way to go. New job hype. But yeah, no. Um, as I've said before, like, especially since I've been on light duty um, throughout, you know, uh, the intermittent months, having that little bit of extra, a dog paw? You don't spy a dog, Paul. The dogs are outside. Um, but having that, having that little extra, that little extra that you know comes in unexpectedly has been, you know, super helpful for me. There is a dog paw. Oh, this sticker from when Maggie was around. Who rescued who? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this. Um, we had a black lab. Her name was Maggie. Um, this was held the better part of 15 years ago. No, it wasn't because she was still around when Patrick was here. When we rescued her. It was her, about 10 years ago. Mom, I'm 32. I was not 22 oh, when we rescued oh, Maggie. I see what you're saying. That, when we got her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we got Maggie, it was a, right about 15 years ago. I was a me one junior in high school. Um, I was a junior in high school, um, maybe a senior, no, no a junior. Because you went to the beach. Yeah, I was a junior in high school. We had a boxer at the time, um, but he was super hyperactive, crazy, and mom uh, decided that with work and with kids and all that kind of I stuff, alone, she uh, yeah. adopted him out to a family who really was able to give him the attention and time that he needed. Well, and then, died. yes, it's right. So, kind of the gas <laughs> yeah. Yes, the microwave is under the counter. Um, but anyway, I went to the beach with my ex-boyfriend, high school boyfriend, and his family for my birthday. And mom was alone at the house and couldn't sleep. Because she had no dog to alert her. 
that, you know, intruder, right? And so she decided, she called me up the next day. She's like, I'm going to go to the pound and see what kind of dogs they have. I said, okay, fine. Called her back. Later on that day, she said, I found a black lab. She's really sweet, but I'm, I'm going to go home and think about it. And the next day, she's like, I'm going to get her. We don't use a microwave all that often, to be honest, Tybee. So, but anyway, um, Maggie was three days from being euthanized when mom rescued her. They said she was four and a half to five years old. She was already gray. So, I think so we think she was a little bit older. Um, rescued her, brought her home. There is a vent that goes down. <laughs> there is a vent that does lead outside that it's not venting radiation into the house. <laughs> yeah, this was this is a very like this is a very built-in countertop. There's electrical, there's ventilation, and all that stuff that's built in here. It was designed this way. Yeah. Um, and like this, putting the microwave under the counter is the new, like big, big new fad trend in, um, kitchen, kitchen design in America. Uh, but anyway, so mom brought her home. Um, she was the best damn dog we ever had. Um, obviously, you know, these guys are great, but out of all the dogs, like she's still like one of my, my favorite dogs, um, to talk about. She was one of the best. Wouldn't trade her for the world. She was absolutely terrified of men, Yay! especially men who had their hats on, because we believe that she was abandoned on the side of the road by a hunter, because she had a fear of men with hats and a fear of men with guns. That was Duke. Duke was the men with guns. Maggie was still afraid of the, like, whenever the sheriff came over, she was always hackles raised. But anyway... That's what that paw is for. There are three puffers in this house right now. They're all outside. Um, you got ads during story time. I'm sorry. Story time can come back. Maybe you should subscribe again, Heidi. <laughs> then you won't get ads. It's a shameless plug right there. All right, I'm getting into story time and I need to focus on making things. <laughs> Tira Kennedy. I don't know her. Make it go away. Easy enough. Pretzels. Thank you. Yes, pretzels. All right, is everybody back from the ad break? Can I resume the story? I need to put my white chocolate in here. Oh. Yes. All right, where did you guys leave off? Nina, quiet. Shameless self plug. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't have to deal with the ad break. This is not as deep as the other container. What? Uh, best damn dog I wouldn't trade. Yeah, no, she, um, she was definitely the best dog ever. Yeah, I was pretty sure she was left on. We're we're pretty sure she was left on the side of the road by hunters. Um, she was afraid of men and was abused. Afraid of men uh, with hats on. Um, so I like, about that. yeah, she, because there was one time Joshua drove off without paying for gas and Spencer came to the house and he had his hat and everything on. I walked outside yeah. and she was beside me and she was pure, just straight up growling heckles raised, but suction cup to my hip. Like, like you, you're not going like, to hurt girl. my woman. <laughs> exactly. And, um, That's she, uh, I just was like, sir, you know, if you don't mind just taking your hat off, she'll stop growling. And he took, as soon as he, she, he took his hat off, she was kosher. But, no. Um, but yeah. She, uh, best damn dog ever. Um, Xena, outside. Labradoodle. She's a Labradoodle. 13 baby. years old last week. Yep, she was a Christmas baby. Her name was Star when she was born. Mm, well, the breeder. Yes. You know, gives them generic names. But anyway. 
Um, Dina was raised basically by Maggie. Maggie taught her a lot. So, there's your eight minute timer, mother. I'm not, I'm not digging Gabby Barrett either. Skip. Oh, we're going to tea no, swift. Now. I just opened the oven. No, <laughs> not really. I need more white chocolate. This is not enough. There's more over there. I know. First batch of gingerbread cookies. Yup. Now, I'm gonna use this pan over here. Put them on. That's cool. You okay with that? I have a free one. You have a free one? Yeah, I'm just using that one to transport back and forth, basically. So, pretzel dogs. I personally well, wouldn't, um, because I'm not a fan help of. Help me for a second. Yeah. Do that. What? Help me for a sec. Are you both hot? There you go. Look at that. See? <laughs> and what I'm gonna do with these? I'm gonna take them over to the table, and make them Let cool. Them cool. Yep. And then literally, mom, once they cool to the next one, I can slide them off and put them on to the next table. And put take the tray and shoot. Exactly. So. But. I can use this one now because this one's hot. Yeah, you never did a uh, second batch. <laughs> well, I didn't want to put them side by side. Do you want to just do those over here? How they cook. Or do you want to do them over here? I'll do them right now. It's fine. Hot dog wrapped in a soft pretzel? Yeah, no, that, that's all y'all. No, thank you. Hot so, dogs wrapped in a soft pretzel? What's wrong with that? I'm just not a fan of pretzels, except for chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, do you remember those pretzels we used to get at Wawa? They're filled with cheese. I still do sometimes. Amazon! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you hear about the way know, you can tip them? Do it. I do it Good. Time. Good. Alexa. But, I don't have my other Alexa. I was like, you don't have Alexa because I would have done Alexa. I do have an Alexa, but I don't use it. Yeah, you need to because those things are great. Oh, wait, he's my shopper has questions. Oh, no, he's checked out. Oh, yay. Yep, that's fine. He's starting to deliver my order. This is good. Okay, and... <laughs> She's using her phone. Anyway, pretzel dogs. Yeah, pretzel dogs are a big thing. Like, Hey, Alexa, thank my driver. But anyway, um, I bet they are because Alexa always fucks shit up. <laughs> I, I don't use Alexa. I use Alexa for the weather and for like, a couple things. Yeah, I heard her say something. I don't know what she said though. She said thank you. Okay. Thank you for the biddies. Yeah, I have to go in a search exactly for what I want because she always screws it up. I have to go plug in my phone. So B should be off of work, and I'm still in mid pretzel madness. So there's still plenty of cooking to be done. Alexa was made to, scream, of course, because they want you to spend more money. So it's the gift of it. This is gonna be a cool view when we're done. Yeah. Because they're all the way out here. Mm-hmm. Stack on top of them. Well, no, well, just by covering the blanks. Yeah. Well, I was using the tray originally and just keeping it to the tray. So. Mm hmm. And which is why I won't use it like that. Like that. See? Shit. I got white chocolate all over my stream deck. <laughs> It's fine. We'll wipe off with some Windex. All right, go get food. I'll be here. I promise I'm not going anywhere. Okay. We'll keep you entertained through your next work shift. Lady A. 
can always pick them out. You may fall asleep. Well, yeah, it's like closer to midnight where you are, isn't it? Crackheads are going nuts. It's only 8 p.m. Oh, I mean, are you used to going to bed early? You work. He's like, but mom, I'm not the center of attention, and I must be. We fine. Okay. I already had him out waiting for you. So take a break. I'm gonna put these in the oven, then I am. Yeah, go sit down. You've been still in high gear. So. <laughs> yes, you are the center of attention. If Hybe's around, he's got to be the center of attention. And according to the birds, if they're not the center of attention, it's a problem. Yeah, you're just being really loud. I'm just being loud. And it's probably because of the music. I they're just not used to that. I just need to turn down. So. Let me turn it down. Come on. There we go. I should be. Yes. Oh! The problems of being fat. <laughs> I lean over to turn it down and I get white chocolate all over myself. There we go. Fix that. First storage. Aw. That sucks. Not your sexy apron. I don't want that. That's not in there. I got rid of it. I want the canvas, like the nice canvas style. It, there's one in there hanging there's inside in the there? pantry. I'm telling you. It doesn't matter if it's an apron and it's canvas. Okay. Get the, uh, I'm going to buy one. I'm going to send it to Be Amanda. Picky now. And tell the kids to finger paint it. That's what I want. I want a, a finger painted a kitchen canvas kitchen apron with the kiddos. That would be awesome. Or have them tie dye it. They do yeah. tie dye. But I was thinking finger print. They had they really they had a ton of fun tie dye and shirts while we were down there. But like, wouldn't it be cool to have them just like paint it with whatever and then put handprints with their names on it? It would be better to just do handprints. Yeah. Or you'd have a but hot like, freaking. But mess. like, just like paint it with the. I know, hands. but like just handprints of the babies. That yeah, would be exactly. Awesome. Otherwise, you'll get a piece of art from Claire that <laughs> it'll be everywhere. I mean, that's what makes it good, though. I'm going to tell Amanda that. If I buy an apron and send it to your house, can you paint it with the kids? and send Have it? the kids paint it with their handprints and yeah. fingerprints. It'll be a project for the kids. They'd love it. Well, and the cool thing is, is you're at work uh, and you're able to sit on your phone and more. hang out and not be like a problem. Mm -hmm. Bye, business Yeah, as long as you get your work done, hell yeah. That's all that matters, right? <sighs> Mom is making another batch of the ginger cookies. With about half a bag of pretzels to go. You don't have to do the whole bag. Honey. I'm gonna do the whole bag of rods. I'm not doing the whole bag of yeah, the pretzels. Oh God no, Jesus no. So. Right. Oh. This can go back in the fridge. I know. In the oven. 
I know what that noise is. It's your sign. It's the wind. Yeah, banging my stuff on the porch. Mm -hmm. Who that? Groceries, probably. Hey there. So go ahead and take all your frozen stuff outside. And that. The rest of this stuff. Oh, and that. Oh, that's not what I asked for, but that's okay. They probably were not out of the other one. Probably. So. All so I can get these two things. <laughs> There's your Sprite, Sarah. She just carried the Sprite up to the porch. I mean, even an hour. Sorry, guys. Give us a second doing groceries. Woman, you are to go and take a break while I finish these pretzels. Okay. Well, I was just washing my cookies thing. I know. But the next thing will come out smooth, and then... But... Yeah, I'm just preparing. I know. Just, but when you start preparing, you get into do, do, do. Yeah, it has to take go, go, go once I get going. I know. So. Actually, I'm going to go sit where it's comfy for a minute, because those aren't the most comfortable That's chair, fine. but did I, I forgot to set the timer. Shit. It's been like four minutes, if that. So, come on. So, I'm going to set it for another four. in both sanctuary or whatever and say we're still going you know in the discord you won't be able to do it in the chat but, but if well, you, where do you want me to post, it? post it in discord on the general thing and do at family okay Hold on. Go to mine. Am I putting it in the same place as the announcements? No. No, do it in just the general area. Okay. I don't even think you have permissions to post in the announcements. So I'm going to do an app family. Yep. I'll let the picture and say we're still going. And we are. We're still going to keep going. Be a little bit, but we're going to go. 
All right, I'm going to move these pretzels over. Oop. We're going to give them a minute to dry because they're twisted. And then we'll move them over. So, actually, I'm going to crumble some of this peppermint on here real quick. With some of these uh, smaller ones. While it's still soft and melty. And there I got the tang. Okay. Alright, I'm not doing it. Next. Okay. It's Friday, people. It be Friday. You know? It's Friday. Hey, honk. What's up, buddy? <sighs> Taking a breather for a second. My back hurts. Mom is sitting down. I'm about to move these pretzels over. I'm good. I am good. We are doing well. So, knocking out this Christmas stuff. Um, so, we've got a, ba a pan of gingerbread cookies in the oven. Um, we just got the red food coloring for the bark we're going to do. First time we're doing it. So, this will be a learning experience with us. Um, once I'm done with this, I'm going to take a break. Mom's going to do the Christmas candy wreaths. Um, and then, then we'll do the bark. Yeah, and all at the same time, we're all doing cookies too, so. But the pretzels take the longest. I've been at the pretzels since we started, so. Yeah, but I'm also taking a break too, so that I'm not... I'll check them. Yeah, just give me two seconds. I'm trying to get that to where it's flatter. Not flat at all, but puffy. Okay, yeah. They're done. Caraway sheets? Yeah. Oh my god. They're so expensive. They're so good. There we go. Another batch of ginger cookies out. <laughs> and drooling pregnant. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to transfer these pretzels over there now which is going to be a little more complicated than I had intended, but that's okay. Because the white chocolate is not hardening as fast as the brown chocolate. That's true. And so, I don't think so. I got it. utilize the whole sheet instead of fighting it this time yep. so and I'm gonna bring my chair back here since you're taking a break because yep. I can sit down right here. Clint I just need to get some break. yes and we were moving around because you were back in gear so now that you're on break I can be on break and get my stuff done at the same time Are you freezing something? yes I've almost killed that sprite
Yes, ma'am. Like five minutes, three hours. At least streaming wise. So. Mm. I know. Right. I don't know why I bother sitting because it always is easier when I'm standing. What the pretzels. It's always easier when I'm standing. I just want to get them done, so I'm out of the way. I'm stuffing in green beans at once. It sounds like a good lunch to me, man. I'm just gonna move out of the way for right now. What is for lunch, Mom? We only had breakfast. It's 2.15. Um, We've been at this for three hours. That was your lunch. Okay, well, it's lunchtime for me, so what's for lunch? Whatever I've got, sandwich stuff. <clears throat> I've got this smoked turkey in there, and I've got one already open, so you don't need to open the one that you bought. Mm-hmm. Nub. Yeah, we got. I've got enough for. Uh huh. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. I think. I think I've literally got enough of the white chocolate left to do the last little bit. Um, I'm tempted to go straight into this bar. First. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't like them. I know you don't. Patrick doesn't, I mean, it's not that I don't like them, I just don't eat them because I don't like them. Okay, so don't do them. But I'm just, I'm, I'm frequently making those. So don't do them. And doing bar. Then just do the bar. Okay. It's fine. We can just do that. I know we're both going to run out of steam pretty quickly, so, once these well, are done. Well, stay put. Continue taking your break. So I'm uh, I'm gonna do this last thing of pretzel rods because there's not that many left. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve. Remember those are the little baby pretzels. I know. And some while they're wet, you want to roll in the. I've already put peppermint on. Okay. I didn't roll them. I sprinkled it. Okay. It's already over there. Yeah. So I didn't do it super heavy. I can always add more after the drizzle. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a piece for Riley's party. Yeah. Just mixing this. They were Jack. Nice. You could almost, Mom, um, do like some finely chopped pecans like that mm -hmm. and do it on the chocolate ones or walnuts or whatever. You probably could roll them in a little bit. I don't know. You, you can tell that my shoulder's starting to bug me because okay. I keep stopping because of it. Plus the physical therapy. Plus it's all in my shoulder. So what have you got left? Have you got enough to be done? With the pretzels? I don't have any of the white chocolate twists. Okay. 
So, and I did two things of that. And I'm trying, and I was, I'm finishing up. So we could just forego the twists and just do the white chocolate, like, sticks? Yeah. Totally. You're tired as fuck. Well, it's not, it's not that I'm tired. It's, it's like, I could continue going. It's just the constant repetitive motion and the standing. I'm not tired. It's just I'm achy, you know? And I'll get through it. It's not a big deal. I just have to take more breaks than, you know, you would like because you're in go, go, go mode sometimes. <laughs> Hello. With the trashy panda. Oh. So for the bark, I need to melt. I need to. I need to figure out how much. I mean, hell, I melted all this chocolate. You know what? We're trying to get a game plan in here, guys, because, you know, we're, we're working on it. Uh, 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 uh. Stop it. The bird's going cranky. Stop, Joey. You too, Nana. All right, so let's see how much more Yeah, I don't know who this is, so. I'm also, like, not listening to it. Because I hate to say it, I still don't like Christmas music. Unpopular opinion. No, it's not, it's not that I don't like country music. I mean, Marky, you know I love country music. It's I don't like Christmas music. So there is only one Christmas music album that I will listen to on repeat. And that's Garth Brooks' Christmas, like, from the 1990s. So... Yeah, that I could add in. he definitely did. And it was very different. It was very different. 24 ounces. I'm going to do just a couple of twists to fill out this thing. So. Oh, I'm going to get some alcohol tonight. <laughs> alcohol and some Tylenol. Yeah, Garth Brooks, like, his, okay, his so early Christmas album. It calls for this. And then there was more. Did you use it all? Uh huh. That's what's okay. in here. So that's okay. I will take the white chocolate chips here. Okay. And I will use those. Half and half, and we'll do. Red and you can and green. use whatever's in here. Oh no, keep going. And I'll use well, half and half, and you, these will be the red and the green. Okay. So how much how much chocolate did it call for for just the thing of bark? Twenty four ounces, which is that whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I had two open. That's kind of weird. Probably because you couldn't find one. Probably. That's fine. I'll take it home and I'll put it in my airtight container at my desk and munch on them. So I'm going to get that. I'll get this one right now. I'm not doing very many of these. I'm just filling out this parchment paper and then I'm going to heat this up a little bit more and drizzle over yeah, what's over there. Yeah, so... Um, Again, guys, um, I'm going to post all this stuff in Discord. 
So all the recipes. This obviously is very easy. It's just um, white chocolate, you know, melting baking chocolate um, with pretzels. It's very, very easy to do. Very easy. Um, I got you, wifey. God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I got chocolate on my shirt. Yo. I got you. I got you. There it is. Right here. This is 12 ounces. It says three and three, so I'll be fine. I'm going to need to do laundry when I get home. That's all right. I got you. That's what the button's for. So... I haven't seen any of my mods yet today, so there's that. I mean, Kyatic was here, but she was at work, so. And Scoots popped in, but she's probably training the puppy, so. All right, I think. Yeah, because I, if I try to do any more, Mom, I'm going to run out of chocolate for grizzle. So, it's, I'm going to melt this. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to drizzle the white chocolate onto the brown chocolate. And then I'm going to nuke the brown chocolate. Go over there and drizzle it on the white chocolate. So. Yes, the very cute pupper. Uh, where are your chippy clippies? Uh, in the drawer right in front of you. In the drawer right in front of you. Okay. These are my mom's chip clips. <laughs> They're also beach towel holders. They're beach towel holders, but you can use them as a chip clip. Yeah, I think she's got flamingo ones. Um, mostly flamingos and carrots. Yeah, flamingos, tukis. You can get them at the dollar store for like two bucks. Best chip clips ever. So. Stir this up real quick. Then I'm gonna go drizzle this chocolate onto brown chocolate. So I'm gonna be off screen real quick. I'm gonna be right back. Oh, they know what I'm doing. I said I said it already. Oh. Or no, they're gonna destroy it within a few months. Hey, that's all that matters. I'll be right back. Shift the plunge back and on. I am making dog food. <laughs> and you guys are going to think we're kidding, but I'm not kidding. I, for those of you who were around earlier, you heard the story about my needy dog with digestive issues. So, this is shredded chicken. This boneless, skinless chicken that I put in my Instant Pot. And it's like soft and tender and pulls apart. Super easy. Box. <clears throat> you get that box. This is a whole bunch of rice, just plain white rice. Four cups cooked. so fast. It's crazy. Is that white or dark? The white. That's part of the reason why I use, like, it, it goes so quickly. 
because the white is so, it cools so quickly that I gotta come back over here and heat it up. Yeah, that doesn't, that smells like, <laughs> it smells like dog food. It's chicken and rice. I can't, know. Can't smell, but so bad. Does this smell as good as cookies and stuff that we've been making for sure? It's definitely not helping the palate right now. <laughs> I'm like, bro, it does not smell like what we're doing. That's what I'm smelling. I like, just pulled that out. Oh, I'm smelling That's, something. No, you're else. smelling this. It's because of the uh, chicken being cooked in the instant pot. Probably. There's something about that smell. You can smell it. But Let's see if I can do it like this. thing with having kids when you clean your house you feel so good about getting it all organized and clean and then five minutes they destroy it <laughs> same thing with having roommates well not if they're adult Exactly what I'm saying. Okay. All right, that's done. Yes, buddy, I hear you. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got it done. Yeah. So, how long does a batch that size last? Depends on who's feeding the dogs. <laughs> so, if I'm feeding the dogs, it will last a week. 
if my husband's feeding the dogs, it'll last five days. Okay, so differentiate. Seven days or five? It, it should last a week. So and that is that is Bentley. So when you say a week, Sunday to Sunday? Yes. I'm I should only clarifying. have to be doing this on Sunday, not on Friday. <laughs> Yeah, that overfed a little bit this past week. Yeah. Now we'll go in the refrigerator. All right, so we'll put another bag. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. yeah. That's my lovely task, so mom goes for the beach next Thursday. Her and dad are taking an uh, extended weekend, Thursday to Tuesday. Newman, stop. They'll be um, at the beach um, for Christmas. I'll be here puppy sitting and whatnot, bird sitting, bird sitting house sitting for that time period. So... The beauty of this cooking chocolate is I can literally just chuck it in the microwave and it'll melt all over again. So if you guys need to take a break or something, you can always come back and do it again. I'm doing my Christmas with my parents tomorrow. My dad is finally home from the hospital. That's good news. That's good news. That's awesome news. Hope everything is good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I may have not been privy to the information of your dad being in the hospital. But Don't need to know. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, as long as he's, you know, on the mend, right? That's the important part is he's on the mend. I need just a little bit more time. his issue. Newman, stop. I'm here and I've not got him out. He had an infection in his face. They're not sure, but when his whole face swelled up. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm tooth, glad. If... Tooth related? That's what they usually are they're, in the face. They're not sure what it was. Uh, he could, you know, have some kind of infection in his molars or something causing it. Yeah, that's what it usually is when it hits the face. <sighs> um, oh, my God. I'm... Um, Seriously losing my mind. I know. Newman, quit. The brown chocolate always drizzles better. something I don't know what she said but. the thought cellulitis but it wasn't interesting Yeah, I'm gonna show them once they're these these guys harden up just a little bit more. They're not fully hard yet. So, well, I mean, I hope he recovers because you know that's that's definitely. And I know he's getting older. I got a badoot. I think this is gonna be last batch cookies. All right, off screen I go. Look at my DMs. I will go look in just a moment.
Get off the door. Lydia, get off the door. This is done. And the great thing is that I can literally just go like this. Uh, don't have to worry about cleaning those bowls now. Okay, open, 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 open it back up, open it back up. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, last batch of cookies are done. Well, they're going in the oven. Well, yeah, they're going in the oven. So. Look at my Dio's. Alright, hold on a sec. Set the timer for eight minutes for me, please. I'm not sure you can do that again. Boom. Eight minutes on the clock. Uh, big zip. Give us eight minutes on the clock, please. <laughs> Hey, that's what All right, where did the Zippy Lock bag for the old one go? Or did you throw it away? Uh, no. Or do you want to do, here. mother, do you want to do around a chocolate bar wheel and kill it off? Because that's pretty much like only- Hell only... yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We can do peppermint and the chocolate. And we can use extra bags of chocolate chippies to fill out the one brick I used. Because this one's not going to be- It's a great peppermint. timer, isn't it? So we could do peppermint and this. Yeah. Well, that would look pretty with the dark chocolate. Just M and M's on that one, and we can use sprinkles and M and M's on that one. Uh huh. And we can also take some white swirl and swirl it in here if, if we have extra. Left. Or you could. You I know, could make sure I have some left. Yeah. But anyways, well, and we can you know leave some peppermint off for me on you one could side. Go in there and look in the pantry and see if I have any more. Newman? Yeah, he does. Hold on a second. This is the bird that was raising a fuss. He was raising a fuss because I was not getting him out. Come here. Yeah. This is Newman. You gonna blow kisses? You gonna blow everybody kisses? Yeah. Can you say hi? Mm-hmm. So he is 10, 10 years old now. Um, we got him when he was a baby bird. Yes. Bird you were a Actually, baby I bought him bird. He was weaned. Yeah, we bought him before he was weaned and we went and got him when he was weaned. He has known us all his life. Um, he knows me as Sissy. Am I Sissy? Is that mama? Yeah. So, mm hmm. Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Yep. Yeah, can, you, can, you, can you hang out up there? Like, why? I don't see anybody. <laughs> Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? Yeah. Yes. He'll live probably 30 to 40, 30 to 40 years. Um, I will inherit him. Um, Scully will live to the better part of 60, probably. Um, so I will inherit both of them because Scully likes me too when mom's not around. Um, mm -hmm. You gonna come down here? Hi. That makes it a lot easier on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Noomi. Good morning. Hi, Seeker Pot. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Seeker Pot. Mm -hmm. You see everything, don't you? Yeah, I know. So he, he doesn't. Start talking the other day out here. He said apple and everything. Like, yeah. Did you say apple? Apple. Good boy. Apple. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Can you say apple. Si apple? Apple. Yeah. Apple. 
<laughs> so I laugh. Mm -hmm. I laugh and I giggle and I play. Yes. Yes. And I'm very much a human and I love being the center of attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're making it hard to hold my hand up, buddy. Hi. Yep. He, when I am here, pretty much, like, on all birds, you have to think of, like, basically having a two-year-old in your house for 60 years. Yep. You know, um, a lot of the bigger birds require, um, you know, food. He wants me to give him kisses. I'm not, you're excited. I'm not giving you kisses. I'm not doing that. There's a lot of excitement and noise, and you're going to bite me. Okay. You are, yeah, he gets very overstimulated to where he, he's actually bit me on the face before. Um, can you step up? Good boy. Um, he's bit me on the face before. He's bit me on the ear, on my hands and whatnot. Um, when he gets super excited, I'm talking a lot right now, which is making him happy, which is why I wanted attention because I heard my sissy and I hadn't gotten to come out she and say hi. Somebody other than me. Exactly. So he, um, he'll play hide and seek, he'll cuddle in blankets, um, you know, he is very, Just I can put him on his back, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. do you see my scab, is that what you're cleaning? So he does all sorts of games, um, and things like that, come here buddy, come here, good boy, yeah, now I can, re mm -hmm. hi, can you step up, you want to go upside down, we'll play upside down bird? Step up, step up, step up, step up. He doesn't do it, he doesn't want to do what you're about to ask him. Good boy. I know, that's fine. Hi. So he, he, this is all he wants. He wants to literally be right here with me the whole time. Mm-hmm. This is all I want. Yeah. Can you be a pretty bird? Can you show your wing? Pretty bird. Good boy. Pretty bird. Yeah, look at that. So I'm fully flighted. Mm-hmm. I'm fully flighted. I don't know what that means. He can fly. Mm. His wings you are not get clipped. kisses? Yep. Uh, neither of the birds have have their wings clipped, but he can fly. Uh, Scully won't, because he doesn't he, know. He doesn't how, know. But not that he yeah, wifey knew what fully flighted meant. Did she? Mm-hmm. So. A lot of people don't but he just wants to sit here and hang out with me. Like this is all he wants. He he started preening a minute ago. Mm-hmm. This is all he wants. It's like, I don't care about anything else. Skog knew it too. Yeah, these guys know. <laughs> silly, mom. Say, mama, you're silly. Silly. Or, no, that's too close to sissy. Can you say Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, are you going to say it? I know you can say it. No, don't you bite me. He hasn't said that particularly in a while. He says it to me when I'm around. He, he says it when he's in his cage. What about apple? Do you want to say apple again? Apple. 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 He, you guys can't really see, but he is pinning and he's turning pink on his face. Apple. Do they know what kind of bird he is, but he's also a macaw? Yeah, he is a severe mini macaw. <gasps> Uh-oh! It's time to get the cookies out of the oven! <gasps> Boop! <gasps> Yay! All done! Just stay over there. All done! We're gonna stay right here, okay? Because we can't go in the hot oven. Yeah, no, we're not gonna go in. Oh, no, we're not gonna cook the Newman bird. Oh, um, I'm just gonna go not gonna cook the Newman bird. No, we're not. <gasps> I might cook the Scully bird though. Say if be shut up. quiet. So I can say be quiet too. Yeah. Well, Harley does that better. Say be fried parrot <laughs> chicken. Hey Swans, what's up, buddy? Hi. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. He snores. Yeah. Yeah. He snores, he'll snore. It's hard to hear him, but he is doing it with his mouth. Hi, are you snoring? Oh, all right, buddy, come on. Mommy, my sissy's shoulder hurts, big guy. 
I can't hold you up right now. No, I know. Mm hmm We're not gonna stay out for very long. I don't want, um, we're, we're cooking. You know, you know how it goes. He's like, I wanna be on your shoulder, screw you. Well, if you wanna go on for the ride, like, we'll do a ride, but you know, you can't gotta stay on my shoulder, okay? So, you've been lurking a bit, how was work? Oh, let me check my DMs. Greetings, Pirate Loki, I know. I need an emote with me and Newman. That's what I need. Yeah. All right. You want to come in on the other side? Or are you just going to work, 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 work? He's work, work, work over here. That's interesting. Look at that, Mom. Once you're done, like, what? this is what her dad looked like when her dad came home from the hospital. I don't think that's a tooth infection, to be honest with you. Well, it, it could be. It could have originated in his upper jaw. Maybe, yeah. That's but, crazy. You know, I'm not a doctor, so. <laughs> Damn ads. Could be God knows what. Obviously, if he's in a hospital, they can't figure it out. I mean, obviously, um, you know, antibiotics and stuff figured it, you know, helped clear it up. Well, let's hope. Hi. What? You going, what? What? Ads working in your region? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're getting super overstimulated, buddy. And past the ad block. I, need to put him I know. So I know. There's a lot going on. But we need to go back to your, your bed, okay? Give him uh, a PIS. Uh -huh. I'll give them both PIS. Well, they both had them a little while ago, but you can still give them a couple Do you want to? He said, not many. Okay, hold on. Let's go say bye-bye to everybody. All right. All right. Be nice. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Almost done. Have two more pets. Come here. Newman, come here. Good boy. Stay there. Step up. Good boy. You see yourself? Look. Who is that? Who's the green bird? Is that a Newman? Is that a Newman? I'm back. Welcome back. I'm actually going to put Newman away, so we're going to say bye-bye because he's getting overstimulated. He's almost tried to bite me once. So, yep. We're going to give him a P-I-S-T-H-I-O. No. <laughs> I don't know. I can't uh, spell word of damn. P-I-S-T-A-C-H-I-O. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, everybody. And he everybody. knows exactly what it means. Say bye-bye. 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 Okay, bye-bye. Good boy. All right, come on. a little in between. Yes, pistachio. It's crack to my birds. I can get them to do anything with a pistachio. All right. Another batch. Last batch of gingerbread cookies. Yeah, I gotta transfer the white chocolate over here. So I got all the dishes done. And I'm gonna sit down again, have a drink. Then I will, whenever you're done. I'm done. Are you so, done? Yep. But that's fine. We can sit, I'm gonna sit and chat over here for a few minutes. So I'm gonna show these guys what I did. Um, so this is what the chocolate drizzle looks like on the white chocolate guys. So. And it says reverse on the other. 
and it's basically yeah it's basically reversed and then a couple of these I put some peppermint on so need to sit and chill for a hot minute you know eat something because I've not eaten lunch yet all right wifey thanks for the lurk so if you're gonna make them then always add them out otherwise you can leave them on I'm gonna leave the other one oh that's all that's fine it can wait you already finished your late dinner so I got here at like 10 30 and I brought breakfast so it's a little bit of a late breakfast especially for mom so it was more like lunch for her um, 9 p.m. Yeah, I'm uh, this is my lunch time right about now, usually, unless I haven't eaten breakfast. So, I'm um, I'm hungry, I'm also like on steam, but you know, give me a little bit and I'll be okay. We'll see how I feel uh, once we're done with the bark, and that'll decide on whether or not I do cookies. Um, I want to do cookies, like, really bad. I just need to break. I need a break. You know? Worst comes to worst, I can cook them next week when I'm here. Or when nobody's, you know, when we're not, like, doing a whole bunch. Right? So, um. What's this? Only I was still a student. <laughs> Let me do this. Oh, oh nothing. I'm just my back hurt, so I had to stand up. So. Um, I posted it in Vittles. You had your phone on charge, Mom. You sitting on it? Yeah, it's right here. By the stove. Yeah, I need to put it back on the charge. Oh. I thought I brought it in here. Hold, please. Sully, seriously, you have to stop. So once we're done, once we're done with everything, Mom, we'll do a feature. Bring everybody back out, or bring all the goodies back out, and um, the sticky pad could slid. You know. Uh, once, once we're done, we'll bring all the stuff back over. Because I can't take, I don't have enough long enough cord to take the camera over there. We'll bring the food stuffs back over here and show it all off as we package it. Right? Yeah, we can show boxes. If we, I, we, don't, we don't have room to put all that back on the counter. Well. I don't want to do that. If I need an assembly line, it would make sure we can fit boxes. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. I just want to show it live, you know, but that's fine. All right, we've got the gingerbread cookies done. The pretzels are finally done. The fudge is done. The seven layer cookie bars is done. We're skipping the wreaths this year and replacing them with bark. So we're taking a break right now. I need to make something to eat. <laughs> I know I keep talking about it, but this is what happens is I sit there and I'm like, oh, I got to do something. I know, but I don't want to stand up right now. I can wait for a moment. My back hurts. Yeah, mine does too. So, peanut butter balls. That's what the ball comment was about last year. We were talking about peanut butter balls. I was talking about Buckeyes. Yeah. Which is basically a peanut butter ball dipped in chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Buckeyes. So. Oh. Buckeyes, yep, exactly, Buckeyes. I made, I usually make some pretty, pretty swick Buckeyes. Um, 
so they're really good but we're gonna do yeah I think the bark is a good change this year mom so oh yeah yeah I made mine like big I haven't made them in the better part of like five or six years I want to say maybe longer actually it might have been almost ten years I have no idea. Do I know her? No, Sarah just going off. She's like all excited and like beside herself because this person, Colleen Hoover, liked one of her posts. I don't know. On her fan page. First of all, it could be a fake account. You don't know if it's really her. And second of all, who gives a shit? Who is it? You haven't met him since you were living with your parents? Yeah. I don't know, it's Sierra. She does weird shit. <laughs> she does do weird She's shit. weird, just like her mom and her dad. We've established this. Oh my god. Hmm. This picture of Claire and Sammy together. Bring it over here. Oh or or just I'll send it. Send it to me and I'll pull it up. I'm gonna show okay. people. <sighs> send it to me. I did. Send it. Because I don't get those. Oh, boy. There we go. Ding. Took a minute. I, I love giving all my friends baby fever. Especially wifey when I'm in uh, voice chat and whatnot. She can, she can tell you. I completely and 100% like will... Um, show off pictures of Finley and be like, who's ready for ovary problems? Yeah, so, ovaries. Yeah. I'm sorry, men cause aching ovaries for me, not babies. <laughs> Wifey said, oh my god, give me the baby snuggles. Yeah, he's he's so handsome, though. So, so handsome. You. There you go. You um. Yeah, that's him and his little sister or his big sister. <laughs> and that's perfectly okay. Um, you know, it's it's not a matter of like giving you baby fever. It's that pure moment of you know if it. Oh, it's so cute, right? It makes you want one, but then you're like, nah, I don't want one. <coughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he's 15 and full of sass. I wonder where he gets that from. 15 and full of sass. It's entirely a trap. Sophie is six, and she is nothing but sass. Okay? And she gets it from her mother. And guess where her mother gets it from? Thirteen. <laughs> Sorry, who whose kid is fifteen? Somebody's kid is fifteen. I, I forget who it is. Oh, it's it's a uh, Gothic's kid is fifteen. Yeah, that's why fifteen. Yeah, I, I save all that stuff. Every time you send me a picture, I save it to my phone. Because I hardly ever go on Facebook. Yeah, but I usually mine automatically save anyway. Yeah, not but. mine. Alright. I think I've got enough energy to make myself some lunch. I'm having some stringy cheese. He doesn't like the Publix one, so you can chow down on those. Well, that's fine. You can leave them here and I'll eat them all here next week. Yep. So. My God, Mom, you got enough Velveeta? Yeah, I, I bought another one and I already had one. Or one of them's almost empty. Let's push him. 
roast beef. I don't see the turkey that you said you have, and I don't see. It's in there. It's in there. It's in the back on the right. Oh, there it is. I see. I don't see the other container that you Didn't said. Didn't I just buy anything else? I That's thought you did. Did they? Did I not get one? Did they? I don't know. Check your receipt. Cause I don't. I thought you. I thought you would put. With the chicken and it went in the freezer. Maybe. No, right. because I know because I emptied out that box. Let me let me check my. Check receipt. your receipt real quick. Right. All right. Let me get a sandwich. Oh, maybe you didn't add it. I must have just gone to it and forgot to hit. That's okay. I'll, I'll get some more. Get some. There'll be some left, too. I'm not going to eat all that before we leave, probably. This, Mom? I'm about to put it on a sandwich. Oh, good. Good, okay. <laughs> okay. So if you make an order, just add turkey. Add honey honey roasted turkey for I me. I probably won't between now and If Thursday. you do. If you do. Or, you know. Okay, so that's why date night's tonight and not tomorrow. Date night's always Friday night for me. Uh, I got stuff all over my, my shirt, and it's like, I'm so self-conscious about it because I see it in OBS. Okay, well. Well, I'm just talking out loud. No, I'm just talking out loud. I, I'm just talking out loud. I keep doing this because I keep rubbing it. Like. Yeah. Well, and that's what they say, right? Like, and that's that's perfectly okay, Scott. You don't have to, right? The fact that and this was your ex-husband, right? Yeah, that's. I had a, I read an um, "Am I the Asshole" for telling my mother-in-law that my husband and I, or my husband, got a vasectomy or something, something like that, um, and like yelling at her, saying we're we're never having kids, kind of thing. Because she had her tubes tied or something. But anyway, mother-in-law was always like, oh, when are you going to have kids? When are you going to have kids? And they were just kind of like, whatever. But she pushed and pushed and pushed. And finally, she's like, we can't. <laughs> and both of them had been sick, basically. And it, like, upset her at Christmas dinner or some stupid shit. I don't know. It was very, it was an interesting Anna the Asshole. Do you ever miss being a daycare teacher, wifey? At all, ever? At least most of this is going on my sandwich right now. You miss your babies every day. Yeah, I get that. My roommate and I were talking about my, uh, and that makes perfect sense. Sometimes you got to do what's right. And then maybe, you know, when, when Riley is finally in, you know, finally out of school and whatnot, he'll be, um, you can go back, you know, but you also seem happier when you're at a, when you're doing this. I will slide. Whoop. How's that? I will get you some because the more I sit there, the more my body gets used to it. You don't want yeah, I get you. So I'll use one of those. the wax paper if you want to hand it to me I'm gonna put some start putting some stuff away too you were sitting right there next to it babe I can't reach that far because my arm right now is okay yeah I'll just do what I'll do is I'll just do the 
chocolate chip cookies and stuff while I'm here. Okay? Okay, well then I'm gonna put stuff away. You wanna That's, help me? Yeah, I got you. Alright guys, we're doing an intermission cleaning break. We're putting some stuff away. I'm gonna use the rest of that, right? There's that. Why the coconut flakes are out. Uh, the chocolate chip, you want to leave out the, or open the snack? That's what I already did. Okay, left hand wall. Gotcha. You'll see the baking stuff kind of down toward the bottom. Yeah, under our feet. Are we done with the powdered peppermint stuff? Oh, that's right. We're going to put it in the chocolate, the dark chocolate. Some, some in the dark chocolate, some in the white chocolate. Or I'm not, no, I'm not making the white chocolate peppermint. Well, that's what peppermint bark is, is white chocolate. You're not making the dark chocolate peppermint. You're making the dark chocolate the M&M's. No, the M&M's go because of the color. They go, well, they can go on both. Yeah. But, but I thought the whole, the whole thing was doing the, the M&M's and the dark chocolate, and then you do the peppermint and the red and, uh... The red and the green. I'm sorry, am I? Um, You're fine. I just need to get this green food coloring back here. The stress from parents is a lot. The work I did was hardly ever appreciated. And Evara always blamed me for if their kid was behind. Or parents, okay. That was an interesting little... Um, Autocorrect. I'm going to just be off screen eating. I'm gonna just get, well, actually, here there, I'm gonna get the little satchel. That would be easier. You walk oh, over yeah. Okay. yeah. Do okay. you see why I use those? Yeah, it will be much easier. I forgot I had these. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite things to use at home. The little ones? Uh huh. Yeah, but it's gonna be great for this. And then I'll use a bigger one for the, I need to break that up and put it in something to melt. I got you. You, you focus on that, I'll just come over here and get a bowl. I love this. Look at this. No washing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so oven is off then. I can put the pecans in a Ziploc. Here you go. Here, sir. You can use that glass. Angle this down to so you guys can watch what she's doing with this peppermint bark. Well, right now I'm just trying to melt some okay. white chocolate chips. So I can turn them into red and green chocolate chips. There we go. That's better. Did I tell you I almost caught the house on fire the other night? Nope. I could have baked potato in the microwave. <laughs> Whoops! For 10 minutes. Somehow it turned into an hour. <gasps> oh no! And Patrick was in here, smelled something funny, and he opened the microwave, and it was the potato was literally fire coming out of the middle of the potato. <laughs> and the reason that it did that was because I had it on a paper plate. So that long in there caused the paper to ignite. Mm hmm. There's still a funky odor in there. I yeah, I was catching out. it when it's cooked. I need to figure out how I can get that out. Easy on my counter. This is going to look really cool. I moved it over so you, they could get more of you and the screen. So it works better now. Mm hmm That's really cool. Not dark enough.
change. Skip. Next back. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you're. Sounds cool. like Kelly Pickler. Can't stand her. Probably was. White vinegar should help get the smell out. So I just cook some white vinegar. Like just microwave some white vinegar for like or I just five like minutes. Wipe the microwave with white vinegar. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I'm genuinely curious because you use white vinegar to clean up the um, puree and stuff, right? So yeah, I would think it would work. Oh, I just goes hard again fast. Mm hmm You can boil it in the microwave. Okay. Oh, cool. It'll help. Okay. Well, I have some. Uh -huh. We'll do that here in just a minute. We'll do that in a minute. Where'd my Sprite go? It's over there. I'll get it in a minute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that headache I had coming on is going to go away. Yeah, you got to eat. It also loosens anything stuck on. It's one method of cleaning a microwave. That is great advice. I will definitely give it a go. Well, I mean, and that's why a lot of people clean their... Um, Mixing blood, blood in my chocolate. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. <laughs> Ooh, you should watch Wednesday on Netflix. I did, and I hated it. Really? I watched the first episode, first, second, first and second episode, I think, and it was awful. Oh, uh, see, we love it. That was awful. We loved it. the The biggest complaint I think was the dad not being tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, the fact that they picked him to play Gomez. Catherine Zeta Jones, of course, is amazing. Oh, she was gorgeous. But I love her. The Always. whole thing was just awful. Oh, see, I loved it. Patrick and I were both like, okay, you might have to change it because it's not <laughs> working. It's not your guys' style. I definitely get that. Oh, Patrick liked that shit. But it just wasn't. I get it. Didn't do it for us. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So you're doing a red and green. Sprinkles and the peppermint and the white, and then we were doing the dark with the chocolate and nouns. I'm putting MMs on this too. If you look at the picture, that's why I bought them because the red and green and the rest the red and green <laughs> swirl. I'll take the rest home. Either way, just leave like a little bit without. Hey, why is this happening? Why is my chocolate seizing up? Can you put a little bit of like milk or something in? I know why. It's because of the food coloring liquid. Uh -huh. I don't know, but it's totally seized up. Okay, well let's can, let's see if we can put Water. some milk in it. Real. I think it's gonna be. Water or milk? Because I think milk wouldn't take away from. I'm afraid. The... I don't want to microwave milk. Okay. Oh, there you go. I gotta rotate with her. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. Oscar Mayer's um, a honey smoked turkey just doesn't have the same flavor as a land land or lake 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 thing um, that I like. That's why I didn't add it to my cart because he said, "Well, the land of lakes." When I got out of it, I was going to go look at land of lakes, and then he wound up getting something else. And <laughs> I forgot to go back. Brain fart. Brain fart. It's okay. Better. All right, here's a green. Yeah, I might have to get the little wrist out. The green is just using that near as much as that. But I didn't put near as much food coloring either. So. Red has always been a pesky food coloring, though. I 
I think just to like another 30 seconds in the microwave. Yeah, but I'm going to wait until I'm ready to use it. Yeah. Right now, I just, I'm trying to get All right, I'm going to put the big thing of... Melted and colored right <laughs> I'm putting the big thing in so I can start mixing it. All right, I'm moving the chair back. So you can start mixing what? So I can start mixing the big batch. Big batch. The, the big, just the almond bar. Oh, melting the, yeah. Yeah, the big batch. You know what I mean. Words are hard. The only problem is, I hope that sets up. Watch out, Mama. Just add a little bit of this chocolate. It'll set up. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be mixed with that chocolate. So mm -hmm. it'll be fine. You're fine. I don't want to burn it, so I, I just have to stir it a little 30 bit. seconds at a time. 30 that seconds was a minute at a time. Do you have honey nut Cheerios? No. no. I have uh, Cheerios uh, Almond Crunch. So good. No, thank you. So you can have other cornflakes then. That's what I said. I'll just eat the cornflakes on here. Dylan Scott. Open those and pour them in a bowl. Please? Okay. Because I want to be able to grab them real quick before this stuff sets up. What happened to, you said you got rid of the melt melanin. Why did you do that? Um, because I bought another set of dishes and I didn't want the melanin anymore. with that and those. So, you see how often you use your scissors? Yes. <laughs> Have you seen that? This right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets beat up pretty much. M&M's. Can't do sweeties, but I love M&M's. I am not gonna lie. I have started taking small small bags of semi-sweet chocolate chips, putting them in a container similar to this, and setting them at my desk. And every night, like I'll just grab like five or six and munch on them. Not good. Okay. It's not a healthy snack. It's cheaper than M and M's and Reese's Pieces. It's not about cost. It's about your health. <laughs> okay. I like chocolate. <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> exactly, it sells a sweet tooth. It stops me from scrounging for nachos. Because that's the other thing I do, is late at night I get a nacho craving and I just want to eat nachos. And I'll eat a, if I have access to nachos, I'll eat a massive plate of nachos.
I need to pick up the cons and not forget about my dark, dark chocolate. Yep. All right, do me a favor. Hold this paper so it doesn't move. You need to wipe your thing on the top so you're not getting the back of it all because it's all chocolate that's getting on the top there. What are you talking about? I'll, I got this. <laughs> Look at the back of the bowl, though. There's all that chocolate up there. Okay, give me a second, Sarah. <laughs> Good no. lord. Gotta be better than that, okay, Mom. yelling in my ear. See, I get yelled at for being loud. This is why my microphone is so low in Discord, is because I get yelled at for being loud. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine, Mom. It's gonna be covered okay. up by chocolate. You can go with that. Oh, uh, toothpicks. Toothpicks are um, over here. You can go right above you over there in the where the Tupperware is. Ah. Get one out of there. Big old dollops of red. It won't matter. We're gonna... I know, I'm just saying it's big old dollops. Yeah, I don't like nuts, scog, so for me. Love nuts. I, I don't even want it. I'm good. <clears throat> Scoochie. So we're not mixing it together, right? No. We're just swirling. And once we get a cool swirl pattern, we're stopping, and that's hard to do. All right, that's good, stop. Now go easy on that. I'm not okay. planning on going super hard, Mom. Okay. You might want to do that with your hand. snowballs. All right. It looks like snow. Like, really, it does. You can have that one. <laughs> it just hit the ground. Two-second rule. Two-minute rule. I'm going to play a second rule, and I don't know where it went, so. I got it. Never mind. See you. All right, I think that's good. Yeah. All right, that needs to set now. 
Yep, just go set it over there. Uh, I'm just going to set it right here, and then... Let me move these. Nope, I'm just going to set it right here out of the way. I know, but I'm going to do this. Those can stack. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm done with this now. I can put this, these will look pretty in the chocolate. The pearls. Yes. We're done with that. You can get rid of that. And that'll still look pretty in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So everything but peppermint. Yep. Which I get some of the peppermint. All right, we need a bowl for the chocolate. Well, we're just going to wash the ones we have. The one we have. This last one. Gonna wash real quick. Can you handle that? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna yes. I gotta sit down for a minute, guys. I'm gonna go wash a bowl or two. I'll be right back. Coming on pecans. I'm gonna dump them in here. Dump them in there. Dump them all in there. That's fine. I'm going to. Do it! Because it wasn't quite a full uh, thingy anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody ready for Christmas? Or no? I'm not. I am. I know. I, I'm gonna, once we're done, I'm gonna turn it around and show them your Christmas tree. That way they can I see I posted it. a picture already. I know, but with all the presents, not even close. <laughs> yeah. Mom, I came in compared to the picture she posted the other day. She's got like three times as many presents as she did. It's ridiculous. She came in and said, who are all the presents for, Mom? You and Patrick. Who do you think? I know. Hoping for like half my Amazon wish list to be in there. <laughs> Keep hoping, my, kid. Keep hoping. I know. And then my sister calls and she's like, that's not a tree. You need to put the big tree up. I'm like, bring, the, bring your kids and she will. 
You never have to put makeup on, Mom. You know that, right? But first, I have to put two, bag, two boxes together. So now I have to go cut the stuff. That won't take long. The only thing you have to cut is the. I have to cut the five and the seven layer bar. Yeah. You have to make three boxes because I want to take one home. I want to take my bar. How's it doing? It need it needed more time. You got it. You got to do short first. I know. So. It was only thirty seconds. This is going to take more time, though. That's okay. There you go. Flip it over. Working on it, lady. I'm just talking. Just you, talking. You act like I ain't done this before. Just talking. You see, you didn't break it up like I did with the white. I it'll, broke. It'll be fine. I broke up the chunks. It'll be fine. I made it easier. Okay. You're <laughs> special. <laughs> I wonder who made me special. Remember, you cooked this oven. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fry the vinegar soon. <laughs> gonna get me another tea. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab another spoon. <sighs> yeah, we got a lot done today. Yeah, we did. <sighs> Make a good tea. We have for 20 years, Mom. <laughs> How for you when we started doing this? I have no idea. Because I know I've done it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Since Centerburg. Yeah. Well, I was definitely not old enough to assist in Centerburg. I was definitely not old enough to assist through some of Center... Uh, cent Beaverdam. No. Reynoldsburg. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you started in Reynoldsburg. No. So. And you were only like a year old there? I don't know. So, no. I don't know. No, I think well, I started in Centerburg. It had to have, because that was the bigger kitchen. And I don't think I, it was like an annual thing no. of this magnitude until I moved into Beaver Dam. Mm -hmm. and then it became of this magnitude when John Marlon I started Marlin taking stuff to were... McKinney, to the office, mm -hmm. and to Capital One when I was a contractor at Capital One the first mm -hmm. time. I started taking stuff in there. That's how you wooed them. You wooed them with food. I did. I seduced them with food. Hey, that's how you got the your way husband. to a man's heart. Lays He's through his, you. through his, his stomach. And don't let him tell you otherwise. This is Keith. I turned it up just yes, for you too. I can hear him. I'll be your Santa, baby. Passing tomorrow is nails day and I think I'm gonna do a sparkly red for Christmas. You should put snowflakes on. too impressed with what I had her do with Halloween last year. I mean, literally and figuratively, what? I wasn't too impressed with what she did on Halloween. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about what Scott said. Oh, sorry. There's a little bit of a delay I'm trying to take back. Oh, the way to a man's heart is through his belly. <laughs> yes. Ah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Sort of. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. Oh no, it is. You have the conceited guys that are like, it's all about sex. It's like, no, it's not. 
Yeah, feed him. I'm sorry. Feed him a good meal. He might meal have a girl for sex over, over here, but the one who feeds him is the one who put a ring on. Facts. Brett Eldridge. And the one who cooks will be the one who takes home to mama, not the one who's good in bed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you see my problem? Yeah, but if you do want to rip it out. <laughs> if you do rip it out, Flips tells everyone it's my fault he got, got fat. fat. <laughs> Michael did that. Okay. My ex-husband did that. He, um, we went to a funeral, ironically, and all of his old cousins that he hadn't seen in, like, years were like, dude, you gained a lot of weight. You look good. Because he used to be a toothpick. And he's like, yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> Wait, you got married? <laughs> Yeah, we just didn't invite any of you assholes. <laughs> so I love Brett. Yeah. Girls are killing. I'd love to hear like Russell Dickerson or Jordan Davis or one of those guys do Christmas. I think Jordan Davis did. Mitchell Tenpenny did. I know he did. Did he? Yeah, see there's Mitchell Tenpenny with Megan Patrick. Um No, right. I guess he didn't. I thought he did. Okay. Color me wrong. Okay. This is gonna be more M and M's. Uh, where did our little pearls go? Here, yeah, right there. Yeah, this is the one I want most of to take home, but I know my roommate will like the peppermint, so. It looks so fun. It's getting everywhere, Mom. I don't care. I'll clean it up. I do. It's getting in I my don't keyboard. Care. Damn it. Oh, excuse me. The keyboard. Look at that, Look at that guys. Look at it. It that doesn't show it as well as it Oh, it, it, yeah. I mean, it doesn't show as well as it does in person, but. Put your M&Ms in a little Ziploc or something so you can take them. Sweet. And then these need to go back there. That's fine. We'll get there in a minute. I'm going to do so, that right now. Oh, pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. So... Um, we're gonna have to wait for the bark to dry or no, to but we can start cutting other stuff. Yeah So you can get the seven layer cookie bars and all that I'm stuff that first. and get three boxes Right go ahead and get the cutter would go first. Ah. All right, we're in the home stretch Four and a half hours about right. We're, yeah. we're looking at five hours four o'clock me and in time so Cutting board. Where's the cutting board? Where's the cutting board? Oh, you're gonna cut it right on the granite. Best thing since barbecue. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna make a chat channel. Best thing since barbecue. I'm gonna make a channel in Discord, and I'm gonna call it Kitchen Hacks by Mama Jane. And so she can post links to all the shit <laughs> that she has that makes cooking so much easier. Hold on. I'm just giving you some resistance. Try to be gentle. Yep. Okay. 
parchment paper works, ladies and gents. I'm, I'm going to use that pan to put it back that, in. Uh, yeah, so. I was just trying to All right, so with this it. is the white chocolate macadamia nut fudge. Like butter. talking about the fudge is pretty is that what you're talking about or the the bark the bark oh gotcha pretty. gotcha gotcha about a year ago. yeah it, when i first started there are lids to these too when i first started streaming it oh she said both <laughs> when i first started streaming it was very hard for me to pay attention to chat and figure out when somebody said something but the more I've, the more I yeah, you get over, used to it. It's just you, yeah. you start checking it regularly and like whatever, because depending on the environment you're wishing to cultivate. Yes, we did. Amby, look, look yes. at it. Woke up from nap number two. I'm assuming. Let me show her this one. Look at it. Look at it. Tip it. So they see the swirl. Looks good for someone who eats chocolate. Ambie, if I brought you some of this, you would you would try it. <laughs> you should take a tiny piece of this when I'm done and taste it. With I will. the macadamia in it. Mm-hmm. Because I've not done this one before. It's not about the labor that, you know, it's about the love. It's the love, yeah. The love that goes in. It's this is my, my love language, is food. And Where is B? Because, like, she was mad that, you know, we started this before she got off, and I haven't seen her yet. B, where are you? I know you're lo looking. She's not Italian. Um, I'm not. We are Polacks, basically. Welsh, German, Irish for her, mm -hmm. Polish, Irish for her. They still need to set more. They need to go in the just fridge. Just put them right there. I, Mama, I just put them right back in, just like that. You think? Yeah, because they'll pop right back out. All right. Yeah. Well, you need to put the lid. Get the lid. Where's the lid? There's little blue lid. I never saw the lid. Over there. And <laughs> they need to go in the fridge. We have no Italian in our lineage at all that I'm aware of. I don't know if the lid's gonna work, but I'm gonna work. <laughs> well, warp it back into shape. <laughs> I'm not a, fan, a huge fan of fudge, but this was good. Somebody tag B in Discord and tell her to get in here. She's missing it all. Like, what the hell? <laughs> he doesn't want to. Like, no lie. It's like, screw you. There we go. I needed the second hand. No, nope, it's a fuck you. Well, it says fuck you, literally, the box that's... <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna fucking figure it out. I just need to be able to stack stuff on top of it, we so... We have no room in the fridge. Yeah, we have to make room. Okay. Uh, or we can see if there's room in your dad's fridge out in the garage. It's fine, I, I, I make room. Bring out whatever this chowder is, this delicious. Oh, that's the... Yeah, that needs to be thrown out, probably. I mean, it's still good, but I'm not going to eat it in the next couple days, so. 
I'm not going to be here. Hold on, I got a mask up and walk next door to pick up lunch. I forgot about Amy, did you come back positive? Did you come back positive for COVID? This smells really good. This is just plain peanut butter. Fudge, but it's... Okay. Smells divine. That one's good, it looks like. The Will you move that? That's just in the way. My bad, I'm sorry. Bring shit out here, stick in the way. Damn it, don't be doing that shit. <laughs> There's a bird joke nobody recognized. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> nobody will recognize that. No, nope, no one will understand. <laughs> nope, never. You'll have yeah, to tell that story some other day. I've told that story in Discord, I think. Just to whether or not people remember it. It's definitely not a Florida thing, that's for sure. This is uh, chocolate with walnuts. I think it's just the flu. Everyone got out of holiday party somehow, some way has avoided us considering the manager next door went to holiday party and didn't bring it over yet. I mean, it could be, yeah. A big flu going around everywhere. I don't know where you're at, but. She's in Tampa Bay. She's yeah. my friend in Tampa Bay. There's the, all kind of flu going everywhere. in Fort Myers lost their house. Like how many, how many times? Oh, remember, right. remember I told you because of the hurricane. Oh, because of the hurricane? Yeah. Oh, shit. So my daughter lives in Navarre, <laughs> south of Pensacola, and they've had the flu go through their house two or three times now. Because the kids keep bringing it home from school. Where it spreads the most in Florida? Yeah. Well, that and you have, you have a lot of people in Florida that just don't care for, you know, public safety sometimes. What are you talking about? Uh... There are a lot of idiots in Florida. That's what I'm talking about. Well, not any more than there is everywhere else, I don't think. Yeah, it's bad here, which... Th this, is, this is Florida we're talking about. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's good. And those can actually go on the top if they want to. All right, seven layer bars. Get your lunch. <laughs> yeah, go. Parchment paper, y'all. <laughs> Saying. Parchment paper makes cleaning easy, too. Worth every penny. And it's not even that expensive. It's not. Babies. Reasons I got my COVID booster over Thanksgiving going to be Orlando over New Year's. Very nice. Why are you going to be in Orlando? Sally, shut it. I usually stay pretty... Um, okay. This is Joey's wife? Or girlfriend? Or zero, I guess. How's he doing, by the way? Shut up, Scully. Ah. Significant other, I didn't, didn't know. I'm trying to decide how big I want to make them. So I'll do four, right? So do another two, and then do thinner, like, little Triscuits almost. No, I want them to be the same size. So that means I'm going the same size as the fudge? No. If I if I do that, these are going to no, be no, really no, no, no. small. 
right if I do this, half and half, then they're pretty big. Yeah, do half and then half again, and then do smaller here. So like that. You see what I mean? I know. Gooey, gooey. Yes, they are ooey gooey and delicious. I am, I don't believe I've, I think I had one a long time ago. It was not my favorite thing, so I don't eat them. I don't They're eat them so mostly good. because of the pure amount of walnuts or pecans that are in them. So. Your brother used to eat the <laughs> hand. And I, I, I know that. Issues that are a little more complicated than hoped for, but he's doing as well as can be expected considering the circumstances. Well, I hope that he recovers quickly. Go, go half of that. Or I'm going half of this, and then I'm going to half it again. Half it again? Okay. Who mm -hmm. so Most people that would be Maddie and Tay. That would be me. two bites for most people, one bite for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Did they at least figure out what was not causing or was it the gallbladder or like it's probably half a bite for you? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey soul. This is Cody up in Rhode Island with his wife, who nice. came to visit me, and we went out to dinner. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. So, I've known him for the better part of eight years. Yeah, that's literally like two bites right there. So, this is the Magic Cookie Bars, guys. So good. And it's gooey. Like, the middle ones are definitely gooey than the they're sides. They're chewy, gooey, yummy goodness. <laughs> oh, my, oh my, God, my God, yes, yes please. Dude, wifey, they're super easy to make, super cheap. Like, does not take a whole lot to make these. Like I said, I will post the recipes of everything we made today in Discord. Um, you need a whole pan? Hey, it's it's super easy to make. You, you see how easy it was. Like, this was one of the first things we knocked out. Treat your hubby and make him a pan. <laughs> it wouldn't be for Fletch. Okay, slide that off to the side. Are you gonna add the bark to it, or are you gonna wait for the bark to cool? Because um, the bark's gonna take a while. Started. Okay. Uh -huh. When we MSK eat the inside, I eat the crust, the corners. Yeah. So you do a big old thirteen by nine, then? Yes. I'm. Oh no, I'm talking to Soul about brownies. Yeah. I like the nine or the eight by eight or the nine by nines because they're thicker. Well. For that or the brownies? Brownies. Oh, yeah, yeah. You like cake brownies. No, I don't. I don't like, I don't like cake brownies. I like fudgy brownies. Yeah, then the smaller, the nine by third, the bigger the pan, the more fudgy the brownie. But I like them thick, so I don't cook them as long. Yeah. They probably don't. Okay. So this is going to be the prototype what we do here. Pretzels are going to go in first. Yes. Because they are the most odd shape. So there are, hold on guys, we'll be right back. So there are a couple of small ones that have peppermint and this bottom row. Can you use the row to take it up after? What do you think peppermint is? Okay, I'm just saying. Ha 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 ha! Hush it! No. Hush your face. Oh. So once we wrap up, um, or once we're done, kind of favorite type of cake, MSK is making a yellow cake with lemon frosting for my birthday. Oh shit. What? I just, so I was messaged um, information on my buddy who's in a more complicated situation. Um, what can I fit through in here? Probably. 
Death by Chocolate is your go-to? That's hard. Because personally, I love... Like, I love red velvet cake. You put the fudge I, in the fridge? Yeah, it's right behind you on the top shelf. Okay. Oh, ginger. Yeah. I was like, I'm missing stuff. What happened? Yeah, it's like, and that's why I love German chocolate cake, but without like the um, coconut shavings on it. So, we don't do a whole lot of, of cake anymore. Um, had a red velvet cheesecake cake. Uh, at, Chris, at Thanksgiving, um, it was good, so I really enjoyed it. So I need another cup for fudge. So I think I'm gonna do in any either one of those. Probably another one of those. Bougie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Throw some bougie. In. Yeah, that bottom one, I mean, I, it's... I'm not worried about it. They're going to be in boxes soon, so... No one's going to care. It's going to be good. <laughs> okay. Bark. What's the song? In one of these. Yeah. Do you have space for that? We'll see. Yeah, just like that. We can make it work. Or I could do that there. Yeah, that there. looks better. That looks better. Yeah. How close am I to? There. I think this is supposed to go in the fridge. Yeah, that's not ready. No, it's gonna be. We, we need um, to find space to in a hole. We'll put it out in the garage so it can cool on a flat surface. Sideways? Turn it sideways? I'm gonna put the other one sideways. Okay. So, so, yeah, we don't, she doesn't have room in the freezer. <laughs> this is my mother. So, we're not in any rush. We're probably going to end up wrapping it up here in a minute. Um, so, figured we'd bring the dogs in. You guys can say hi to the puppies for real. Uh, um, work. Can you move this carrot? Yeah, put the fudge back in there for now, so it can. So we're gonna wrap up. Um, actually, don't worry about those. You sure? Yeah. Um, you just wanna on top? Paper towel. Give me a paper towel. We'll put a paper towel on top of each one. they're gonna look like guys with bark in this other little empty the bark will be in that little empty gold cup all right we can set those right off to the side somewhere then I have three more of those but when I break up the bars I can put them in the yeah have an air pipe Okay. Forgot the chocolate, the nuts on the chocolate. That's okay. But More chocolate for me. We can. I just need to put those in a little Ziploc bag. They'll get used. Yes, they will. Um, especially because I'll make. Oh, when I make the cookies when I'm here next weekend, uh -huh. I will do that. Make a batch for yeah, I'll make a batch for you guys. 
All right, so I'm going to let the crackheads in. We're going to show off the crackheads for a few minutes. Let them say hi and see the puppies. And then we're going to wrap up. Um, and then, you know, you guys got the gist of the box. Right? So this is basically what's going to be given out. That's the whole purpose of today. Um, and then any leftovers and extra goodies are going to either come home with me or stay here with Mom. Um, and She's whatnot. not getting all the leftovers. She's I said not... not some of the leftovers are going to come home with me. Oh, I forgot my drink. Hold on. So, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to let the crackheads in. About to be a stampede. It's a stampede! Hello, puppies! Come on. Let's say hi to everybody. Hi, Bentley. You got to clean up the mess? You cleaning up? Come here, guys. He's too busy cleaning the floor. Uh, Zena drinking, the little puppy going spastic. Come here, baby. Your feet. This is Lydia. Oh, this is Zena. She's got to be because I don't have to lay down. So Zena's 13. She's a Labradoodle. And she's Lydia. awesome. This is Lydia. And then that's Lydia. She's Lydia. seven months old. And she's Lydia. a pain in my ass. Yep. She's the cockapoo. I see. And Bentley Sorry. is the black and white one who's over here scrounging on the floor. Call Bentley. Bentley. He's behind you. My boy. This is, this is my he'll be two years old end of January, <laughs> and he's my stinker pot. All right, all right. Get out, Zena. No, <laughs> she's trying to stick her nose up here. Of course she is, because that's where all the crazy good stuff bulldog. Is. That's where all the good stuff is. Bentley's down here cleaning up skull mess. Yes. Yeah, so, all right, guys. Um. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks so much for hanging out. Um, okay. um, gonna go ahead and wrap up. So pack up all the good stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. But yeah, thank you guys again. Um, let's find somebody to raid. Let's find somebody to raid. You know what? Honk is uh, Strowman. So we're going to send her over to ye old Honkaroo-roo. Um, let's do... Copy. So, alright, yeah. I'm going to send it over to Honk. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out. I appreciate it. That raid. Boop. Bye. So... Bye, guys. Love you.